Hello. Hi, hi. How's everyone doing? Hope you're all doing well. Uh, we're going to be doing a little something a little bit different. We're doing a like a part of a series. Um, and we're going to be doing some, we're going to be playing a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of fun things. Uh, we're going to do it with uh, Cara de Hestia, uh, who is already live and doing things. Uh, we're going to get her on call and then we're going to, she's going to pop up next to me and I'm going to have to adjust her size. So uh, get ready for that, I suppose. <clears throat> uh, other than that, how is everyone doing? Hope you're all doing well. I'm doing pretty well. I don't think I really have anything else to get into. Um, so yeah, let's just, let's just do it. Hello. All right, so I think Kara is currently not at the computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Kara set up over here. We're going to we're going to adjust things slightly. She can make Kara a little bigger. Yeah, that looks good. That seems about right. <laughs> Ooh. How are we doing? <laughs> that's fair uh but the budgets are going to be interesting at least from uh from what we're doing aha i just saw the notification aha. <laughs> uh this should be fun this should be fun Yeah, we're gonna have like a budget for Hi Morphe. We're gonna have a budget for structure decks, we're gonna have a budget for sealed. Oh, here comes Kara. Here comes Kara. I'm doing pretty well, Mary. How are you? It's funny, I popped up on her stream and I'm okay, just like, okay, I'm back, I'm back. That wasn't Thanks. hopefully, that hopefully wasn't too long. <sighs> oh, you're here. <laughs> Huzzah. <Hi. laughs> oh, welcome. Ah, and there you are on screen as well. Perfect. You don't have your dual disc on. <laughs> <laughs> my, my dual disc art, uh, is a very complicated art, uh, harder to make into a transparent PNG. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> it's because it's obviously it's you're you're in a shadow duel, so yeah. all of the particle effects were hard to edit out. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi. <laughs> the real Hello. the real reason is because I was in a graveyard. Uh, oh. It, it was my Halloween art. So I was I was ah, doing a Ah yeah, that's right. I rem I I do remember yeah, it. It's I was really pulling cool. a Bakura. <laughs> oh is that your Yu-Gi-Oh Ken? Is Bakura your Yu-Gi-Oh Ken? Bakura is my boy. Bakura is Let's my go. Boy. Uh oh, who would mind me? <laughs> oh. I, I mean think, I think there's a character who uses the reptilian archetype. In five Ds, I believe. Oh, you know which archetype I absolutely adore. Mm -hmm. Which, which the legacy is it has one. It has a unique win condition that's just really weird and hard to achieve. Is the um, poisonous snakes phenom ah, phenomena? Yeah, yeah. I love that archetype. It'll, I mean, venom, it's so venom cool. Spawn. 
and yeah like literally that. the fields fell yes yes i thought it was so sick uh, or as Eminem um, would say venom 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 <laughs> <laughs> he said that i don't he i don't did, listen to he all does he did the he did the soundtrack for the venom movie he he did he, he, i watched he, he venom i don't song. remember that he did one song i don't know if he did the whole soundtrack <laughs> <laughs> oh hi gomi we have a we have a we have a Yu-Gi-Oh! we have a duelist in the chat <laughs> um Okay, that's, that's so... the thing about most win conditions is that if you if you're winning off of an alternate win condition, you should have already won by other means. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I feel like I, I, from what I understand of the modern meta, which is not much, <laughs> is um, Yu-Gi-Oh has kind of become like a two-turn game. Yeah, sometimes. Uh, like turn one, turn two. Yeah. Uh... It depends on what you're playing against. If you're playing against Drytron, oh, for sure. If Drytron wins the coin flip uh, and they set up their board turn one, you scoop. That's just mm -hmm. how it is. <laughs> because they have infinite negates. Unless um, you can play cool. through infinite negates. Or you have Dark Ruler no more. Which just shuts down their entire board. So the goal is to hand trap them out of being able to set that board up right yeah you can you can hand trap them to avoid them setting up the board uh if you have like i said if you have dark ruler no more you could just slap mm. that down and negates all their effects uh lightning storm is sometimes usable if it's not able to be negated yeah that's the other I, thing um, is that most most decks these days can play through multiple hand traps yeah i've seen that with like test hands and stuff so you gotta so, like um, ash blossom nibiru than droll or something, you know? <laughs> Probably the um, way around. So, I think let's start off actually by just kind of giving an impression of where we're up to with current Yu Gi Oh meta mm -hmm. knowledge and stuff. Um, I'm pretty straightforward. I have not really played or interacted with Yu Gi Oh much um, for 10 years. Uh, I stopped playing. In the Dragon Ruler meta, before the Dragon Rulers got banned, that's when I quit Yu-Gi-Oh! And I haven't played really at all since, until now. And mostly my exposure back into Yu-Gi-Oh! has been watching YouTubers and progression series and playing Duel Links mm. and occasionally trying to watch a deck profile for a modern deck and having a, a panic <laughs> attack at like <laughs> like watching like <laughs> i was like oh there's a new stardust deck i love stardust stardust is maybe my favorite card let's watch a let's watch let's watch a deck profile i'm like okay okay cool 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 this looks fun reminds me of the old like larval uh engine for summoning was it like shooting star Qu uh, quasar dragon or whatever mm -hmm. they were called back in the day yeah uh, i was like oh i used to play that deck i used to play that deck with the level 12 synchro stardust dragon this is like a new version of that. This is cool. Okay, let's watch a test hand. Wow. This is like a 30 move combo to get <laughs> six cards on the board. Yeah. That hurts my head. Yeah, that's uh that's that's my speed roids right there. They 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 love to do 30 turn combos or 30 30 yeah. move combos. So, I I found the current meta to be incredibly intimidating. Mm -hmm. Um so I'm hoping that this series could be a very gentle way into the current meta. Yeah. Um, I have a lot of archetypes to learn. I have a lot of new staples to learn. I've heard about Lightning Storm. I don't actually know what it does. Uh, it does a lot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've heard about Nibiru. I don't exactly know what it does. Um, I have some some knowledge of some stuff. I know what Ash Blossom does. I know that Kaijus are basically lava golems. Yeah, they're um, like small lava golems, which are which is actually yeah. better. <laughs> which is better, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, I uh, I've got a lot to learn. I'm really excited to do it. Um, though I I kind of came up with this concept to be a way to very slowly reintroduce myself into the current competitive form like meta um because other methods have failed i i loaded up um was it ed ed edo pro what it, the yeah edo pro. yeah uh i played one game against somebody with my synchro stardust deck and um i 
summoned like I don't know I summoned what I could from my hand and the guy was like ugh what was it like junk archer needs to be banned whatever the the new junk card is that's really OP it's not junk archer what's what's it called junk uh, as, as racer something like that speeder junk speeder um and I was like yeah <laughs> I don't know how to do that though um <laughs> I passed my turn and I got destroyed. So <laughs> uh, if, if someone's saying that a junk card needs to be dest- needs to be banned, I don't know what they're spoken. <laughs> yeah, well, who knows? I, I was just like, yeah, sure. <laughs> my deck's really OP, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, I don't I'm looking at a card, handful of cards that I think I can combo. I don't remember how to because I watched that video once. Yeah. And it was really long. So I'm just gonna pass my turn to you and 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 then I just lost. <laughs> I, that's always my favorite thing when you're dueling someone and they're like, Ugh, that card you're playing needs to be banned. It's like mm-hmm. thanks for telling me, dude. I'll uh, keep that in mind. <laughs> Well, that was the same back in like my 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 day, my era. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I that happened when I was at uh, like locals. At, this was after the big dinosaur ban, and I was still still playing dinosaur because I'm a dinosaur head. Um, <laughs> uh, and I I was just playing this really bad dinosaur deck with one miscellaneousaurus, and like I was playing a cheap option too. So like I wasn't playing the full scrap combo that you do in dinos yeah. now, which is crazy. Um, yeah, exactly. Free misc. Uh, there's nothing wrong with misc. I say, knowing there's plenty of things wrong with misc. Um, <laughs> and sounds so, like a player of the the archetype. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and then I I I win this guy playing Mystic Mine, which is the most annoying card in all of Yu Gi Oh. Yeah, I've heard I've heard about Mystic Mine. It's like the new. It's it's just the new kind of like stall combo thing. Yeah, it's um, it's, it's just burn, unfun. Right? Yeah, it's it's an unfun thing. Uh, and uh, he was like, uh, this <laughs> like this card should be banned. This card should be banned. Uh, Gold Sark should be back from th- from one to three. Uh, <laughs> like what the fuck? <laughs> Uh, my one of my favorite cards back in the day. This was when I was not playing Yu-Gi-Oh competitively. Um, who remembers Yu-Gi-Oh Virtual Desktop? Before before Dueling Book or <laughs> um, Dueling Network, um, there was a desktop application called Yu-Gi-Oh Virtual Network. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh Virtual Desktop, which was basically like Dueling Book, but it was an application, and you had to connect to people using like Hamachi and stuff. Yeah. This is like the early, early days of playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Online. Um, and this is like mid-GX era, so it's like back when like Frog Monarchs were still yeah. like the topping the meta and stuff. And I would play this like really cheesy little card called Blast Sphere, which I don't know if a lot of people knows what it does, but you set it, something beefy attacks into it, it attaches to that target, and during the opponent's next standby phase, it blows up and kills the monster, dealing its attack to them. So you you'd like bomb their blue eyes with it and stuff, and <laughs> I was told that card should be banned. Most people I hit with that card didn't even know what it was. <laughs> 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 and, like the second time we're blowing up some guy's blue eyes, I was told, "Oh yeah, your blasphemy should be banned." And I'm like, "Bro, you don't even know what card this is." Yeah, like it- I think it was from like a tournament pack or something. Like it's like a super obscure like. I don't think it was in a main set or something. I just yeah. found it in the in the catalog. I think, I think like, oh, it that's might have funny. been in the Pegasus structure deck. I don't know. No, because I had the Pegasus structure deck. That was the Relinquish one, like the original well, starter deck. Structure. Pegasus. But yeah, yeah. I don't. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know where it would have been. I, I know well, Pegasus I see... used it in the anime. Oh, did he? Yeah. Okay. I'm yeah, yeah, sure yeah. Anyways. I know he, he used G- Jigen Bakudan, which is similar. Hmm. Jigen Bakudan. Right. Um, uh, so, so that's my history with Yu Gi Oh. You are much more up to date on the current meta. You've mentioned going to your locals recently. Yeah, yeah. That was a couple. I ha- I don't go to locals very often uh, because I have trouble building decks on a budget. Uh, mm-hmm. Although the format's getting a little bit better about that, but still not perfect. Um, but yeah, I I do I I play a lot online. I've done some uh streams on my end so if you want to see more of this kind of stuff you should follow me on twitch.tv slash the pirate well,
Uh, but yeah. Oh yeah, exact. The droplet and pos prosperity are so expensive. Hello, test test. Hi hi. Test test now. Hi, I'm hearing you. Okay, so you weren't earlier. I, I swapped over to push to talk, but I do, I do have problems with push to talk. So yeah, um, I might just have to take it off if it's still being weird. But yeah, um, oh gosh, what was I saying? Uh... Oh yes, you are a Yu-Gi-Oh content creator, or you like Yu-Gi-Oh is a big part of your yes. content, right? It's, it's yeah. it is like half of my brand, the other half being Pokemon. Oh, I didn't even I didn't even know about the Pokemon. I just tuned that out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Yu-Gi-Oh, let's go. Pokemon, yeah, sure, Pokemon. Yeah, you guys have fun. Yu-Gi-Oh though. <laughs> yeah. I I also play Pokemon TCG sometimes. Uh not as familiar with that game, but yeah. Man, it's crazy because I was into Pokemon TCG as a kid way before Yu-Gi-Oh TCG, and Pokemon I just never cared about. I never cared about Pokemon cards the same way I cared about Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I don't know what it was. Yeah. It's interesting. It's it's a it's a game I tend to collect more than play. Mm, I think that makes a lot of sense. The, the cards are I, so pretty. It's true. And also Pokemon as a brand is all about like, the collecting. Well, yeah, it's all about the collecting, but also it's like everyone's childhood, right? Yeah. Not every not every kid in our generation was a playground Yu-Gi-Oh loser like us. <laughs> Every kid in our generation knows Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Also, uh, hey, Gomi, go I am fully hi, intending to come back uh, to Scrap Dino. I'm, I'm going to be getting that Scrap Chimera soon. It's now $1 Pokemon instead game. of 50 It's frustrating. Yeah, I, I remember it being weird and kind of awkward. Um, but that's me remembering from like a kid with the original starter decks. The big problem with the Pokemon deck. card game is the type advantages. So if mm. you bring the wrong deck to the tournament, you're you're done for. I hate that. <laughs> How many cards did you have taken away from you on the playground? And then a tire ziplock bag full of cards taken away one year. My chat's asking if I ever got my Yu-Gi-Oh cards confiscated. I did not. <laughs> no, um, neither did I. Yeah, no. Um, I would have killed someone. I was a feral child, so it would have been <laughs> bad if someone tried to do that. My, my school um, was actually okay with it, as long as we did it during, like, lunch. My school was okay with it for a long time until some some kid got, like, a hundred quid card stolen. I think it was, like, Ooh. a ride on or something. A ride on. Um, but, like, I went to, I went to a, a private school. I went to a rich kid school. I was not a rich kid, personally. Mm -hmm. Um... It was my granddad who put me through the school. So I had poor parents, rich granddad. I didn't get any of the nice toys or anything like that. So, but there were kids at my school who would have binders full of like shiny Articunas. Like literally they said, these are my Articunas. And they'd like split the page and it was like a whole page of them. Here are my muse. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, stealing became a big issue at my school. And um, that's when, it, when that's when card games got banned. Teacher confiscated your entire structure. Sad at Kyber. No, hamburger. That's awful. No. Uh, okay. So, um, yeah. So let's. So that's that's us. That's what we are in terms of our Yu-Gi-Oh careers. Um, what exactly are we setting out to do here with this series? Uh. Well, it's sort of in the name. Uh, we, we have a budget, <laughs> we get some sealed, and we have a series. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I think the, 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 the two tenets of this series is, first off, that we're simulating reality as much as possible mm -hmm. because um, we're proof of concepting this for a potential paper series. Um if it, if, it, if it ever takes off well, that's something i would love to do if we could get like a little trickle of patreon money or something yeah um, that's 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 pie in the sky kind of like lofty ambitions at the moment but i mean i think Yu-Gi-Oh is bigger than ever right right now i yeah. I, I keep I, hearing this i i think Yu Gi Oh is bigger during the pandemic than it has ever been in its entire lifespan that's awesome i mean <laughs> i came back i know i thought pendulums killed it for me i never thought it was going to come back i thought pendulums <laughs> were the dumbest shit um just wait till i pull out some pendulum deck 
I love pendulums. <laughs> I actually, I actually like pendulums too. <laughs> no, I actually learn how they work. I'm like, oh, these are kind of fun. Um, but uh, they, I mean, it reminds me of Mr. Pandaria when I quit World of Warcraft and then I came back and I was like, oh, I really shouldn't have quit because that was that seemed fun. Um, yeah, um, yeah, Mary. Over over the course of this series, we will be teaching you good decks. Yes. <laughs> we'll also be teaching yeah. you some bad decks probably i mean i i want to learn the good decks as well like that's um that's definitely part of it for me is learning the new uh just le learning what i missed in 10 years and, and we're like in an interesting point right now in the Yu-Gi-Oh meta where almost any deck can be like playable as long as you shove destroy phoenix enforcer in it so if either <laughs> of us get that card boom sure <laughs> <laughs> right so that's one tenant one tenant is to accurately simulate reality so we will be using the current ban list we'll be using uh accurate prices the best we can get them um so but basically we want everything that we're doing in this series to be repeatable for people at home with the same budget and that is the the, the next tenant is that everything we're doing here is on a realistic budget i think um, episode one, we might have a slightly higher budget just to kind of get ourselves a base to work with. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I think, I think $50 a month <laughs> yeah, that, is that what we'll be going reasonable. on. Yeah. So we'll probably be doing maybe, maybe monthly, maybe bi-weekly. So we buy our cards, play, play with them, discuss, do a lot more discussing. And then like two weeks later, we could just play a bunch. I don't know. Um, mm -hmm. But we'll, we'll figure that out as we go. There's a lot to work out. We'll probably be changing kind of the rules as we go. Um, yeah, and, but and eventually yeah, like, it will pro it'll change from a digital series to a physical card series. Yeah, that 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 would that that would be perfect. I, that's what I want. I want to I want us to be acting like these are real cards, like basing our budgets on like current market value and. Uh, and stuff like that mm -hmm. so that if you want to go out there with a 50 dollars a month budget you could do what we're doing you know um and the goal is to basically to see if we can make meta state like competitive decks like how competitive can you make a deck on a budget of 50 dollars a month um however we will we will be kind of mm, this is also supposed to be an entertainment series so i think we are going to do some kind of like gentle person rules um to <laughs> kind of make things a little just a bit more entertaining and interesting okay, and, so, and, and more so educational my mystic, my mystic as well mind plans are out the window then huh <laughs> i mean you could you could make a missing mind deck to showcase like if you could build that deck on a budget i think that would be valuable uh, i think you probably could but it would take a lot of stuff from all sorts of sets that's that's, yeah. the, that's the thing about a missing mind deck is that it's a hodgepodge of all the stall crap mm -hmm. from all over the eras of Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> yeah um so gomi brings up a good point buying singles that is singles is something we're gonna cover but i think our rules we're gonna uh, mostly focus on buying sealed products because unboxing is fun mm -hmm. <laughs> and um i think also like that's also kind of part of the hypothesis it's like can you do this on a budget buying sealed product and yeah, um, speaking of, of, you know, singles, I, I do want to say, like, as a disclaimer, if you actually want to build a deck for Yu-Gi-Oh, do not buy a sealed product, buy singles. Like, yes. Just, <laughs> this, is, this is the worst way to build a competitive deck for Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> yeah, but also I feel like that's, the, you, you're not wrong. Yeah. You're not wrong. Like, that straight up, that is a huge disclaimer because everybody knows this. What you do, if you have a $50 a month budget, what you do is you look up, tournament winning decks you you google budget decks and then you buy all the singles everyone knows this we're not kind of like reinventing the wheel here yeah. what we're doing is presenting like a different method for people who do want to buy seal product because that is a huge part of what pulls people to see tcgs in the first place is and and me too i buying singles does not excite me in the way that buying a megaton does yeah op opening opening your mail is not the same as <laughs> opening a pack yeah yeah and and i'm more interested to come back to Yu-Gi-Oh as a tcg if it means that i can open booster packs again because that was always the most fun shit when i was a kid and yeah buying singles doesn't capture that however buying singles is a really realistic part of it so i think 
I like I kind of like how our, the concepts I put out. Again, we're going to kind of basically come up with the rules of this series as we go because it's a trial run. Yeah. Um, I kind of like the one single out, one one single in, one single out each session where you can sell. Um, if you pull something really sick that you're never going to use, that's got a good price to it, you can sell that and then buy one single with the money you have left over. Um, so it's kind of like a one for one kind of thing, which would let you kind of build up your staples and stuff each each month. Um, was on the card one for one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I like that idea. Yeah, and that way, obviously, because sing- singles are really you kind of can't build compared to decks without buying singles. Yeah, um, you're not gonna get the you're not gonna pull the destroy Phoenix Enforcer. It's just not gonna probably happen. not. Uh, I'll be doing traditional normal bandless. Normal bandless. This is supposed to be. Um, this is this is supposed to be kind of like. Yeah, this is this is if you want. This is a series for if you want to go down to your locals and play Yu Gi Oh. Um, so we'll be playing off the normal ban list. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think. Oh, I think it would also be more fun if we try and stay away from building the same decks. If we kind of handshake yeah. that will go for different decks. I think that would just be a little bit more entertaining. Totally. Um, we can definitely talk about what what like, what like the best deck to go for would be. Um, I expect you're more likely to go for the best decks than, <laughs> than me because you know them better and stuff. I, I know exactly where I want to start with this series. I don't know if it's the best way to do it, but it's what I want to do, and I I always do what I want to do. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. Uh, but yeah, uh, as for as for me, like the best decks in the current format are very boring to me. Uh, so, <laughs> like Tri- oh, Tri Brigade is the only one that's actually relatively interesting to me, um, and that's mainly because you can shove Lyralisks or really any any beast warrior beasts or winged beasts you want into it. <laughs> you could you could do harpies and do you do Tiber gladiator Gates. beasts? What now? Gladiator beasts, mate. One of my favorite yeah. archetypes. Yeah, you could you could do gladiator beast tri brigade. I've I've seen it happen. Some of the combos they Let's could go. do are crazy. I love gladiator beasts. Oh yeah, Melfi's is another good one to to shove into tri brigade. I can't wait to learn all about these. <laughs> I really can't. Melfi, Melfi's um, are adorable. You'll love Melfi's. Everyone loves Melfi's. So, I'm trying to think... Oh, I know what Melfi's are. They are adorable. Yeah. They're the really, really cute ones. Those guys are those guys are meta. That's awesome. Well, meta is a strong word, but uh, playable. <laughs> playable. Okay, got it. <laughs> got it, got it, got it. Um... <laughs> Yeah, so I think that's the format. Have we missed anything discussing the format of the series? Yeah, that they're, they're, Gomi has it. Uh, it's an offshoot of a very meta deck. So, um, But yeah, I don't think we're missing anything. Uh, oh, wait, for the first episode, we're doing structure decks too. That's another mm-hmm, thing mm-hmm, to mention. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're we're going to be buying structure decks as a core uh, to build around. Yeah. And we, we've kind of got our own little system. These are my notes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, big question, which I, we should have mentioned yesterday when we put our heads together for the planning meeting. Are we going to use the um, EDO Pro or Dueling Buck? Uh, I think EDO Pro is generally better just for a viewer's experience. Yeah. Um, Dueling Book is sometimes temperamental. <laughs> oh interesting like, like laggy and yeah because in, in, in a live in a live scenario in, like in an edited scenario like the progression series you can edit out the lag and some of the oh, other issues okay okay yes exactly if, if you could edit out the issues with dueling book uh you can uh okay okay yeah. that's great I, that's great insight i did not know this okay so i was going to suggest dueling book because um it would be more lenient for me learning stuff if I if I could be like that's all, that is true, yeah, uh, and also br- browser based would be really easy to swap between like the card puller and stuff, but that's fine. I can make scenes and stuff. No, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. I do have EDO Pro ready to go, so that won't be a problem. All right. Um. So episode one, let's get into how episode one's going to go. I think we're going to have an expanded budget. Um. 
part of that budget will be for buying structured X. And then um, after that, we will buy seal product yeah, with yeah. our budget. Uh, now the question is, is what kind of budget do we want to start with? Hmm. Uh, what? So if, if our standard budget is like $50, um, hundred dollars. Yeah, that's actually good. that's what, kind of what I was thinking. A fifty for the structured decks and fifty for sealed product. Yeah, yeah, that sounds that okay. sounds about reasonable. Okay, cool. That's great. I think I know exactly how I'm starting this episode. Then, um, might not, again might not be the most <laughs> <laughs> might not be the most meta viable thing, but I I just want to open some packs today. That's what I'm really looking forward to. Oh, yeah. Yeah, heck yeah. I've, so I've got an idea of what I what I want to. I've been thinking about this over the night, and I'm, I've got a bit of a high rolly <laughs> plan. But uh... oh, <laughs> a whole box of uh, Destiny thingy <laughs> versus the Destiny just to get the Phoenix yeah. Enforcer. Uh... Just a whole box, <laughs> <laughs> and, it, and then any leftover goes into trying to get Verte. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I do. I I have considered heroes. Heroes is maybe my plan B here. I think. Yeah, the problem with heroes is that there's just it's just so spread out. Yeah, the um, structure deck is the structure deck's helpful, right? Because it's got Vylon and Shadow Mist in it, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't. I don't. And like mask change and deck. yeah, mask change for sure. That's that's definitely going to be in there. Hi, Tommy. Uh, but yeah, I, I think it's reasonable. I can also show you um, a video I, I I know of of you know uh, someone playing the hero deck as it is currently uh, for a while. Oh, I've so seen. Can... It. Yeah, okay. I've 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 seen it. So the elemental hero, the new elemental hero. Well, it's elemental hero. There's barely any elemental heroes in it. Um, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> the new hero uh, deck is something. Um, that I have been keeping an eye on because I am a whore for nostalgia. <laughs> Not necessarily for the uh, DM era, but for my era of GX and, and 5Ds. Like, I love my X Sabres, I love my Infernities, I love my Gladiator Beasts and my Light Swans um, and my Heroes. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fair. Uh, I'm the same way with blue eyes sometimes. <laughs> For blue eyes, but I mean, blue eyes is good though. Blue eyes and dark magician just keep getting the support. Oh yeah, they'll they'll never stop getting support, but it'll never be enough <laughs> to make them good again. <laughs> well, I think dark magician's in a pretty good spot, isn't it? Uh, they have one good card, dark Magi uh, magician souls, uh, which I believe is used in Phantom Knight now. Oh, I see, I see. Uh, the coming blue eye support is sick. I, I still don't think it's gonna do much for the deck. <laughs> it'll do a lot for the deck. It's just not gonna be enough. Yeah. I remember just, in the synchro era when, too high at this point. when um when they actually came at Blue Eyes with all of the new support of yeah. like all the tuners and synchro monsters and stuff. And I was playing that shit. Yeah, I was like, I was like, I'm gonna make this work. There must be a way to make this work. <laughs> Blue Eyes Blood Gorgon. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> oh god, do I have to make it do I have to go for a blue eyes deck? <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> no, I won't. <laughs> I won't. I'm gonna pull exclusively Ghosts of the Past, and I'm gonna build my playset of Blue Eyes White Dragons. Yeah, the uh, the 2016 championship was a Blue Eyes mirror because that, that world, the worlds that year, they released everything for Blue Eyes, uh, including Alternative, which is just so good, or was mm. so good. And Alternative, it, it is was good. It was basically to promote Desod, Dark Side of Dimensions. <laughs> ah, that makes sense. So that's basically like fifty percent of the decks you meet in Duel Links is just blue eyes decks with alternative. Yep, yep. Uh, it was good for a bit. Now it's not as good, but people still play it because they're Kaiba simp's. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm a huge. I'm 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 the biggest Kaiba simp. <laughs> yeah, you know, I I will I will say I have a I have a lot of the blue eye cards blue eyes cards myself. I can play it at any point. <laughs> um. It's... It was a bold move of uh, of Yu-Gi-Oh to give this hands down the sickest card to the antagonist. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, but you know, he's also the coolest antagonist. So <laughs> he is. He's very good. Uh, Duel Links is more of a harpies meta right now. Blue, do Blue Eyes is what you see oh, up until you end? get to the top end. Yeah. Yeah. No, the top end I've heard is harpies. I've I've never played against a harpy deck. That's uh, how low end I am. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy bumming around soon. in gold. I'm happy bumming around in gold with my um, <laughs> Gladiator Beast deck. <laughs> I, I have I have my harpies deck, but I I don't play enough to I don't play the ranked enough to uh, get up into the high end. So mm -hmm. it's just me schooling people in the low end with harpies oh that's fun <laughs> that's fun okay so i think the last thing to mention before we start spending our 50 dollars on structure decks is that we are drafting our structure decks only one of us is allowed to have a structure deck and then we have to pick a different one. Oh hell yeah raccoons uh but yeah that, that is the uh that is the case so I'm really curious. I guess it doesn't does does it hurt to say okay? So we're gonna do a coin flip, and then whoever calls the coin flip right goes first. Sure. Which which one are you gonna go for? Oh, uh, which which deck? Yeah, which is which is which is your first pick? All right, here here's the high roll part of of my strategy. I'm going uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm going for the soul burner structure deck. Oh, I'm not competing. I'm not competing for that. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to go... I So we talked about this yesterday. Um, I, I, these are the prices that we kind of picked out. Um, these are the prices we picked out on, like... Uh, to, to, for, the, for, the, for the decks, right? I've got them up on my screen. Um... So you, I think you're going to go for kind of more like core sets to build something out of, and I'm just going to go for so like lots of cheap decks with lots of staples. I think staples are going to be sick at this stage. Yeah, I I agree. Uh, I'm which is why I'm going with uh, Soul Burner because Soul Burner is like a mix of core and staples, mm -hmm. but it is expensive. That's the main issue with Soul Burner. I could end up maybe getting five decks here. <laughs> <laughs> If you're going for a thirty dollar one, yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, let's start. I mean, oh, okay, okay, okay. Let me get EDO Pro up, actually. Um, hello, hello. Hi, hi. Oh, oh gosh, I think my push to talk is dying. Hello, uh, hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Yeah, I think push to talk is being a little funny with me. Uh -oh. Um, how are we gonna flip the coin? Uh, I don't know. I have a, I have a, I don't have any coins near me, but I do have a, a, a harpy die, a harpy lady die. <laughs> Gosh, can you hear me? I can hear you now. Okay. Oh, I think I'm going to have to come up push the talk. Yeah. Okay. No more push the talk. Um, push the I'll talk try has my been best banished to the Shadow Realm. It's true. And I will try my best to behave myself with chat and not talk like to chat too much. Sorry, chat. I love you. I'm watching you. Um... <laughs> First thing I need to do here is uh, turn the music off. Label music, buy music. I want yeah, my definitely, music. definitely turn off the the Edo Pro music uh, because it, it can be copyright stricken. Seriously? Yep. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, so like you you can't you can't have that on when you when you send it to YouTube. Oh my god. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Um. Oh, fuck. I've not been... Okay, I need to... I'm going to have to pull a fod. That's fine. That's fine. That's what I usually do. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so... Um, I don't know why this Gladiator Beast deck is... Did you make this for me? Maybe? I don't recall. Is this one Hero of the Future? Is this the one with... Hero of the Future is definitely one I made for you. 
because that's, that's yeah, the Yeah, there it is. This is the one I couldn't play at all because I had no idea what the combos were. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know how Link monsters work now. Huzzah. Yeah. I understand Link monsters. Finally. Um, gosh, I'll, I need to figure this out a little bit better. But So I, I'm just going to turn that off now so we're back on this because... This is where we're going to start. Right. Okay. So, yeah. Um, if you're rolling the dice, I want to call. I want to pick. I want to pick evens. All right. Let's give a big roll. All right. That is the that is the six. Yay! Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 I'm gonna go with Cyber Strike. All right. And how much, um, it might be better for you to look at prices because we are going to go off US prices here. The prices are different in the US and the UK. Um, so we, we, we are going to have to stick to the same thing because it would be a huge nerf for me because UK prices are much higher. Yeah. Um, uh, I think UK prices are like 20, 30% higher across the, across the board. Okay, so obviously MSRP is 10, but let's find out what the actual price is. Yeah, because this is actual it. prices. Okay, if someone so wanted to go out here and spend our $50, this, they would be able to do it. Walmart is selling it for 15 Is that the cheapest you've got? Uh, you could get it at GameStop for 10 Okay, I'm going to GameStop. I'm getting it for 10 <laughs> going to go down the GameStop. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe is there a I guess maybe like Amazon would be a good way to kind of not like you know um, normalize the prices. Yeah, let me let me get to. Uh, Cyber Strike said Death Cell Ten. Okay, Amazon. good. Amazon. I'm on a private window, so nobody should see any information. Oh wait, that's the shopping <laughs> nice. window. So I think that means that you're just going to go for the Soul Burner, right? Yeah. Okay. Let me. Once we got some prices up for these. Yeah, Cy Cyber Strike is like weird in that it just came out, so there is some availability, but people are still starting to like hoard it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, uh, on Amazon, I am seeing it for thirteen. Thirteen. Yep. Okay, let's go thirteen. What are you finding for Soul Burner? Let me take a look. Soul Burner. Uh, is that the only one they have? Oh my god! Well, I'm oh not no. getting I'm not getting Soul Burner because that's seventy dollars. Oh no. no way! <laughs> you not get it anywhere else. CCG uh, player, maybe. Yeah, let me let me Do look some other places because I I've definitely yeah. seen it for less. But if, yeah, if yeah, we're, yeah, if we're yeah, going yeah. off of Amazon, like that's. Uh, oh, that's rough. <laughs> my staple strat is going to come out ahead. I'm going to have <laughs> twice as many cards as you <laughs> to start off with. All right. So I'm seeing it on, that's Mercari. That's not a reliable. It's 30 pounds here, which is about $40. Yeah. On Mercari, it's, it's, it's uh, 40. Um, but Mercari is like a bid site. Uh, right, interesting. Let's go, to, let's go to TCG player, see what they have. I'd be happy to give you this uh, UK copy for 30, <laughs> for 30 pounds, which I guess would be that's 30 pounds in dollars. 30 pounds in dollars, which would be exactly 40. Yeah. All right. I will, I will take that if you're a little willing because. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm happy to. You could probably get a $40 deck, right? Yeah, probably um, somewhere. If, if you were patient enough. Yeah, okay, I'm seeing... We, we were looking at, like, 30 last time, so I'm seeing, I feel like this is just I guess the price situation. of the deck is going up, because I'm seeing on TCG Player that it's being sold for 45 but the market price is 36 uh -huh, uh -huh. So I think okay, the price yeah. is, like, going up on it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Are we allowed to buy Dual Devastators? What are Dual Devastators? Oh, Dual Devastator is a set that is basically exclusively... It's, it's like, it's like kind of like a structure deck, except it's all, like, staple cards. Oh shit! Uh, but it's like it's like a box full of them. Yeah, it's 50, mm -hmm. 50 of them. It's it's like uh, actually I don't know how much it is anymore. 
Uh, it when released it was like 30 so i imagine yeah it's 30 pounds here whoa there's loads of stuff in this yeah it's got like all the hand traps like play sets of them not play sets just one each you have to buy fucking three dual devastators to uh <laughs> get three of does it does it have ash yeah yeah it has ash no way Whoa. Are we going for that then? Are we saying that's legal? Uh, it, so it's not a structure deck, but it is like a guaranteed you get this much. Um, the only problem is, is that there's also like... Wait, is it... I can't remember. Is it that they have, it has an extra hand trap of one of the ghost girls? Or is it one of the ghost girls is randomly the alt art? I can't remember which one it is. I have no idea. Because if it's the one where one of them is randomly the alt art, it doesn't matter at all. Uh, if one of them you get an extra one randomly, uh, that might be oh, hard. Oh yeah, to look at all the look at all these hand traps, and you've got some you've got some staple synchros. Yeah, two random field centers. I remember that. <clears throat> some staple rank fours. Staple links. So yeah, got yeah. some kaiju's in there. Oh wow! Yeah, you got all the hand traps. Yeah, it basically has every playable hand trap in there. I think I think the only one that's missing is Droll and Lock. Oh, the Graves in here. Damn, this is pretty good. Red Bibu and Psalm Strike. Whoa! Wow, I didn't know about this. This is interesting. Yeah, it's it was a it was a pretty good way to get back into the game uh, when it came out. Yeah, I'm a, I'm I'm. Keeping an eye on this, because <laughs> this is this is still thirty three pounds. That's reasonable. That's like within, like yeah, that's within budget. Yeah, and you can buy the empty boxes on eBay for cheap too. <laughs> yeah, I want the box. I want to sit in the box like a cat. <laughs> that would be a pretty good uh, stream <laughs> asset. I think uh, <laughs> that would be good. Um, I think we will uh, pass. Yeah, I think my chat's saying we should probably pass on it because yeah. it may be a bit too good. Um, that, that however, that's cool. definitely something to highlight if people are. Again, we are not doing this in the most cost-effective way. Yeah. Um, Although at this point, I still think you should probably just buy singles over buying Dual Devastator uh, because Dual Devastator has gotten gone up in price a little bit. Well, I mean, if it's got an Ash Blossom on, Ash Blossom still thirty dollars. Uh, Ash Blossoms are more like twenty. So it is I mean, like half the box, but yeah. But the rest of the cards are pretty dirt cheap. Hmm. It's annoying that they have they have Black Rose Dragon in here, but then like a weird Stardust, not like a real Stardust. Yeah, and they also have the Clear Wing Fast Dragon instead of the Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Hmm. My boy. <laughs> <laughs> Swordbrand Stardust. Stardust Spark Dragon yeah. is not bad. It's just, you know, I love it's just, Stardust it's Dragon. Not bad. Such a <laughs> such a cool effect on like a, a main for for a main character's card. Yeah. Okay. So we gave you Soul Burner for thirty. So it's my turn to pick again. Um, I am gonna go for. How much is Power Code Link? Let's find out. Because it's 10, 10, on, 10 pounds on my, my end. Uh, let's see. That eBay, that's, that's eBay. Um, that's also eBay. Let's, uh, let's try Amazon. <laughs> so my thinking behind this structure deck is I was looking through it, and I think I found 13 staple guards in this set. Uh oh wait this is an Amazon this is TCG player um TCG player has it for fucking way too much why would anyone buy it at that level all right Amazon power Ooh. code link uh Amazon has it for twenty oh wait here's Ooh. here's one. Cyber, yeah, cyber, that's Cyber's link, not Power Code link. 
Um, so the market price on TCG Player is sixteen. Um, okay. But people are the only person that's selling it is selling it for twenty six ninety nine. Got it. But uh, um, what would you want to put down then? Because uh, like I, I've I'm seeing it on eBay for like fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. Okay. With fifteen. Ten dollars delivery. <laughs> God, I mean, I can get it off Amazon for for basically like fifteen. Yeah, uh, that seems reasonable uh, to me. With my markup, so yeah, it seems like a... it seems like prices are a little higher in the UK, but the availability is really solid. Yeah, everything I've looked at on Amazon has been like more than the MSRP of what you would have to pay, but, but I have it in stock. <laughs> yeah, of <over> Amazon, <laughs> it's just over here. It's just crazy. Uh, yeah, we got, we have a big speculators market that's happened. Mm. And I'm gonna I'm gonna bump it up to f uh, seventeen, so it it, it gives me a, a twenty dollars left. I think my, part of my... it is that I believe the European cards are slightly different. Oh, maybe, so maybe. Like, I think I think they're under a different production line. Ah, oh, yeah, it could be. All right, Ian, what are you going for next? Oh. It's a it's a hard one because uh Can you afford a Dino Smashes? Oh uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Time to check some prices. Dino Smasher. You've got twenty dollars to work with. We both got twenty dollars. I can well, that's Mercari. That's... Uh I'm seeing it for thirty. So Wow, that had a reprint and it's at thirty. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, it's it. All, the only staples it has are for dinos or normal normal monsters. It has like unexpected die and painful decision, oh, which I are good see, for I normal see. monsters, but not good for anyone else. Yeah. Um, let's see here. What what's the what's the shadow structure at? Because shadows are a good core to slap into almost anything. <laughs> is that an ouchie? Yeah, it's an ouchie. That is forty. Uh, 20, 20 pounds over here, um, available on Amazon. Wow. Um, the Sacred Beasts kind of suck. Um, yeah, 20, 20 pounds. Soul Burner, 30 suck. pounds in stock. I'm Get it prime delivery by Friday 10th. <laughs> wow. Um, I should maybe get on some of these decks, actually, before Char they start. Char Charmers has, a, has, a, has some stuff that's good, like Fairy Tale Luna. Um, it, it, I wish it had Raigeki. It used in the Japanese version. It had Raigeki, and then they replaced it with some. Wait, no, it still has Raigeki. What did it? What did they replace then? I don't remember. Raigeki, poor. Oh. There, there was some card in there that they replaced that everyone was hoping for, and I can't remember what it is anymore. Mm -hmm. How much is the? How much is the Spirit Charmers? That actually might be the pick. Oh. Spirit Charmers. Okay. Bundle of three. Are they only in bundles of three these days? <laughs> okay, so this is this is ten dollars with five dollar delivery from eBay. Um what's what's Amazon looking like for Spirit Charmers? Yeah, Twin Twister would be very helpful. Um, yeah, 15 on Amazon. That seems to be the average. If I take Spirit Charmers, Ooh. I won't be able to afford Ooh. anything else. Uh... That might be the pick, though. <laughs> oh, I found my, I found my pick. <laughs> <laughs> That, I you know what? Pick. You know what, Gomi? I was actually thinking about the Slifer and Obelisk de decks because of Harpy's Feather Duster. Oh, leave my bike row alone! <laughs> leave it alone! Mirror Force and Reborn too. Yeah, yeah. Is that your pick then? 
I gotta I gotta check the price on the I'm gonna check the price on the Egyptian god decks and we'll we'll uh see. Yeah, no worries. Some of the worst products released. Yeah, they're they're ten. I could get two of them. I could get I could get <laughs> I could get Slifer <laughs> and then get Obelisk. <laughs> I love that. Oh my god, if you summon obelisk on me, I'm gonna fucking <laughs> I might. I'm, I'm gonna nut. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'm gonna Obliterate go with, me. I'm gonna go with obelisk because obelisk is the better of the two. I mean, yeah, that would leave you with another ten dollars. You can get both. Yeah, as, assuming you don't that would be it. ten. That, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm going for um I am going for Link Strike. Start uh, a deck to Link Strike. Um, what well, can see. I get a price on that to yeah, make sure it's see. within let's my twenty dollars? Link strike. I'm seeing fourteen pounds here, which should be well within twenty dollars. Oh yeah, it's a it's a starter deck, so it's like ten dollars. Oh, <laughs> I so I could get another one as well. I could get another ten dollar one. Yep. Yay! Let's go. Oh, that's so fucking good. What's mechanized madness? Because I might just snap that one up as well. Actually, if that one's ten dollars too. Mechanized madness. I remember it being pretty. I I actually got it for really cheap. Uh, looks like it's fifteen. Ah. ah. I'll have to go with whatever's less than when you when you bought your ten dollar one. I'll go with whatever's left at ten dollars. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna go for that slifer. Okay, so what else can you see at ten dollars? Uh, let's see here. So just, let me just type in obelisk and slifer. Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu -Oh. The pre-order for the Albaz Strike Structure Deck is about ten dollars. <laughs> and the false attack broken. Oh, freezing chains! You could get the Ice Barrier Structure Deck. <laughs> is that ten dollars? Yeah. Anything else you'll see in here? Um, yeah, Egyptian God decks, we already did those. Um, the, I'm sad, the, the code breaker nice. starter deck. Oh, the, the what one? Let me, code, let me code have breaker. a Yeah, the Alpaz one could be, could be, code end up being pretty good, but breakers. it is a, it is a pre order, so it yeah. would be pre release cards. Oh, would it? Okay, yeah. okay. That wow. might not be what we want. Hmm. Pardon. Okay, so this would actually, wow, this would actually synergize with the thing I've got already. And another Cyber Dragon for my Cyber Strike. Hero Strike Structure Wait, no, Deck, $13. This is, this is the exact same. Is it not? It's got like the exact same cards in it. Yeah, I think it's a starter, starter deck, so it's just got a bunch of random crap. There's a lot of, oh, there's some really good links in here. What does this one have again? Does this have... Uh, here's three of Gear Gear Rampage for $30, so you can extrapolate that a Gear Gear Rampage is $10. I think I'll take the... Oh, man, I don't know. I think there's too much overlap here. There's, too, there's literally too much. The what one? Yuya. That's a Pendulum Boy. No, I think I think I'm going more towards a link, a bit of a basic link thing. Yeah, I that's think fair. is probably what I'm going more towards there. Um, so there's the ice barrier. One more, someone called again. Freezing uh, chains. Freezing chains. Yeah. Let's have a look what's in there. Why this is this is the one that was widely mocked as one of the worst structure decks ever printed. <laughs> it's not that's just so mean. I don't, in, a, in a in a modern thing, it's Aww. not horrible. Uh, you get like a pointer of the red lotus, um, fiendish chain. I don't I've know, got fiendish chain. I'm looking at it and it's it's no, really bad. I think <laughs> I'm looking at it yeah. and it's really bad. <laughs> what 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 else? What else is available at ten? Yeah, crackdown. Uh, okay, so yeah. Um, at ten we have freezing chains. We have um, crackdown. Where was it? Um. Oh, correct sounds card. Oh yeah, the the code breaker starter deck. The what is this freezing chains oh, again? Um, Chalmers, the staples are sick. Hero strike. That's oh, that's twenty. Um, yeah, I would love to get a hero strike. Maybe maybe if we. Oh no, I wanted. There we go. 
Oh yeah, the Gear Gear Rampage where it's like three of for thirty, so this just one would be ten, I assume. These fairy tale cards are OP, right? Aren't isn't aren't some of them banned? I've uh, heard of fairy tale fair, cards. Fairy tale snow is banned. Ooh. Uh, snow's not in this one. Yeah. Yeah, they don't tend to print banned cards. That's true, they don't <gasps> Ooh. L yeah, Luna Ooh. Luna Ooh. is a good one, especially if you have kaijus. Like, you could literally play a deck that's basically Ooh. Luna Kaiju. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm going to take Spirit Charmers. All right, sounds good. Yeah, the staples in here are banging. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Spirit Charmers. So that breaks down to... I have four structured decks, you have three structured decks. Yeah. I went with Cyber Strike, Power Code Link, Link Strike, and Spirit Charmers. And you went for Soul Burner and then the Obelisk and Sly for Star Decks. Correct. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Um, so that is our $50 of. Um, yeah, that's our $50 of uh, Starter Decks done. I'm looking, so I think I'm we should take it in decks. turns to. The website I'm using to look at the decks like shows off one card in the deck. Like obviously the obelisk one shows off obelisk, the cipher one shows off cipher. The soul burner one shows off Salaman Great Raccoon. And I'm wondering why. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a little guy. Um okay, so um is there a way to so we'll we'll need to be using this U DB Yu-Gi-Oh! Is it this thing? What what is it that you make the collection in? What what's the website where you uh, open packs? That would be ygoprodeck.com. Please sponsor me. Yg ygoprodeck.com. <laughs> Here <laughs> I'm going to send you the link. This is busted. Oh, pack open. Yeah, this is what. This is it. Yeah, and then I, mean, I assume I have to make an account. On yeah, this. If you make an account, you can save your I'll do that real uh, quick. draft. Do you wanna do you wanna start um do you wanna do you wanna start opening with your packs? So, um, what do you wanna talk through which uh, packs you're gonna go for? Oh, your fifty dollars. Hold on real quick, I got a raid. Oh <laughs> hello raiders. Hi hi. Oh mini. Mindy, thank you for the raid. How was your stream? I hope it was I hope it was well. Thank you so much. I hope you're all doing well. We're doing some Yu-Gi-Oh. We're about to open some packs. <laughs> welcome, welcome everyone. All right. So basically how I, how my thinking is draw your last pathetic card so I can end this Yugi. Thank you so much for the follow, Bricer Dude. Thank you. Yeah, sorry. So yeah, uh, sorry. I, I just it's got the raid and everything. <laughs> oh yeah, no raids. Uh, but yeah, um, my thinking right now is uh, Mega Tin or uh -huh. Gold. Uh, um. Oh yeah, we're we're allowed to buy reprint sets. Uh. We we've been talking yes. about how gold and premium uh, or maximum gold rather are like crazy. Wait, what the hell? The pack opener has dual links packs now. Dual links packs? No Whoa, way! That's so crazy. All right. That's cool. Uh, that's wild. Um, yeah, the uh twenty twenty one Megaton and maximum gold Eldorado are two of the best sets <laughs> released in a long time. Yeah. So uh, I'll probably be going for a lot of those. I think I'm going to be doing the exact same. I think I'm going to open one of each. Nice. Um, so I guess we should get that priced out. Um, so one megaton is three packs 
and you get that for like 20 I, I have I have a special listing on eBay I've been watching for a while that's on like seventeen dollars for a tin. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, the average the average price is going to be like twenty for most people. Twenty, I think twenty. I think twenty is a good round price there. And El Dorado, El Dorado Yu Gi Oh, is about thirty. So yeah, that's one of each is your uh, whole thing. Okay, okay, I'm logged in. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. It took me a little while there to get through to get through that. Uh, okay, so um, yeah, I'm. Uh, well, sorry, what was the El Dorado? Do you say thirty? Yeah, I'm opening one of each. <laughs> yeah, no, I think I think so too. I think each. So the El Dorado comes with four packs, and the tin comes with three packs. Okay, so then, okay, so how are we doing this then? So, so what you can do is you can open custom draft mode, um, yeah, and then find the ones you're opening. Uh, oh, yeah. Twenty twenty tin. You're or you're gonna want to put. It's three just a picture packs. of a tin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then you find the El Dorado one somehow. Uh, maybe if we <laughs> sort. Oh, gold series. If we go by gold series, there we go. That's easier. And then that'll be four packs. I don't see. I see gold series. So yeah, but it's maximum you, gold, so it might not yeah, be worth so, the gold So series. go go to the top and like uh there's a thing like what type of pack do you want to look for? Yeah. And then you'll you'll want to hit gold series packs and then you'll be able to see the all the gold series packs. Okay, so which one is Eldorado? This one, right? Yeah, it's the one that's um, just a box. Maximum gold, reason. yeah. And then there's four packs of that. Yes. And then we can just hit start okay. draft. Number of packs selected seven. Okay, okay. Start draft. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> We've got cards. All right. Okay. Um, so my my thinking here is I, I'm just going to see what shows up and follow follow kind of the breadcrumbs. Yeah. Follow the yellow brick road. Yeah, literally. Uh, Nerval is a huge hit. Are we are we talking about our card opens? Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah. I feel like this is definitely <laughs> going to be a collaborative series more than like ha, 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 I'm going to hide my crush card virus <laughs> <for> you. <laughs> Holy crap! This one's full of infernobles. I don't know a single thing about infernobles. So um, I'm going to be very unfamiliar with a lot of these cards that I'm pulling. I'm going one by one. <laughs> um, I, I might need chat to kind of help me out a little bit here and tell me if I get anything good. I am also looking for cards with good price tags. So um, for, for uh, oh, okay. Virtual World, is... Kieran Lili. That's a pretty good one. <clears throat> Also got one of the worst ghost girls, Ghost Mourner and Moonlit Chill. Okay. Oh, did Dogmatic, you get something? Dogmatica Punishment Secret Rare. Hell yeah. I don't think I got anything good from my first one. Uh, Nyan Nyan. I'll have to, I'll I'll have to, I'll have to go through <laughs> Okay. I'm, I'm I'm seeing it seeing it from uh, the stream. Nyan Nyan was a good one. Oh, oh yeah, that's okay, that's cool. Tron. That's nice. Nice, nice. All right, I'm on to maximum gold. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Stupid. Oh god. Um... I got Exodia, the Forbidden One. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah, let's go. Hell yeah, I got. Neos as well. <laughs> Neos? Yeah, elemental hero Neos. They Let's made go. they made a premium gold of him for some reason. I'm I'm still on my Mega Ten. Yeah. I got N N Nadir Servant. Nadir Servant's a good one. I got Parallel Exceed, which apparently is really good if I get free. Yep. It's a pretty good one. Uh, Interesting. Oh, here we go. I've got some of the Eldlich stuff I've been looking for. I was looking for. Um, Lost World, if I want to play Dinos later. <laughs> Invoked Macabre is pretty good, too. 
evolves our lagia. Yeah. Maybe we maybe dinosaurs should have been the way to go. Super heavy samurai cards here. Alpha the Master of Beasts. Scrap Dragon, Gustav. Adamant Researcher. Another, I got Raviel, Lord of Phantasms. Hell Let's yeah. go! <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay, load maximum gold Eldorado pack. Oh, there's not many in these. No, so not. this is where my this is this is where my initial This is what I'm thinking of. I I'm I I kind of I think I want to go for like prank kids mm -hmm. uh thing here. I have a lot of very good going second cards. Oh, good to know. Pick up some Oh, I've already got I've got three prank prank kids cards from my first uh Eldorado pack. Yeah, uh, Melfi Puppy. I got a Melfi Puppy. Okay, I'll look so black a while for me. All right. And then when you're done, you just hit save draft to collection. Sure. Oh, okay. Well, there's my, there's my single for next episode. A $5 Dark Magician. <laughs> <laughs> Five formation tank here. I don't think that's going to be very helpful. Okay. I think I'm on my last pack here. Yeah, I am. Draw your last pathetic Good card so I can end this, Yugi. Scrap Wyvern. Thank you for shooting the Shooting Code Talker. Razor. Potentially a, good of generic, yeah. a lot of good generic links here. I'm not sure. I'll have to double check. Because I so do much. have Cybers cards. I think that's my second Sky Striker card. Oh, I got Invocation. Oh, I've heard about Invocation. Uh, do you, if you if you get Alistair at some point, you know, that'd be pretty good. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. I just, no, so... I just went back and noticed I got Jack O'Bolan. That guy's a funny card. <laughs> I think, I think I know where my deck's going to be going to start off with. Save draft to collection. Okay, so now where am I going for my collection? Uh, for your collection, you're going to have to... So oh. I, I'm just going to hit this link. Okay. Uh, you you get a pro deck, and then oh yeah, they, that'll get you there. Uh, I had to take a slightly crate box. I, I would like to add my structure decks to this. Is there an easy way to do this? Uh, the best way to do that is to put them in, put the ca individual cards into your search for card set, and then add it individually. Okay. I think I think that's the only good way to do it. Um, okay, so can you can you search for the like code of the? Yeah, you can search the structure deck name, and okay, uh, okay. So like spirit charmers. If I put spirit charmers, structure deck spirit charmers. Yeah. Yeah. So if I like click this, gosh, next page. Okay, I'm doing. I think I'm doing this right. Structure deck for charmers. Yep, and then you just and then I just hit. The plus I just hit plus on this. On every. Okay, single that's card. that's yeah. That's okay. No, that's fine. As long as I don't have to type in the name of every single card, to be here for a long yeah. time. Yep. And does it track how many copies of each card we have? Uh, yeah, it tracks how many copies of each card you have. Okay, this is such a good tool. Yep, it is very nice. I'm glad that somebody made this. Okay, I'm adding my spirit charmers. <laughs> Me clicking the button to add Rageki to my collection. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this is just going to take a little bit of time. That's fine. Oh, good old. I assume which of the Black Forest is not limited at the minute, or not not banned at the minute. I should yeah, say. Yeah, it, it's had an errata that makes it significantly worse. Oh, interesting. How does that errata go? Uh, Do you, is, it, like I think it prevents you from special summoning the rest of the turn or something like that. I don't what? quite remember. <laughs> it's really bad. Yeah. It's terrible. 
Why? Uh, what was my other cyber cyber strike? Yeah, no, it 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 would be extremely busted with links. So it was a necessary change, but it was it's just not good at all anymore. Hmm. Ah, uh, hell yeah. Breaker the Magical Warrior. We're going 2002 on this. Heck yeah. yeah. Breaker was probably released later than that. Probably more like 2005. Or Wait something. until I hit you with my Cyberdark horn. <laughs> <laughs> These cybers out of here. Cyberdarks out of here. I don't want that. It was shit. That's what I'm after, the infinite impermanence. Oh yeah, the double harpy's feather duster feels so nice. <laughs> Too bad there's only one available. <laughs> Be kind to my back crow. <laughs> no, not my cyber dog horn, my cyber dark horn. Double <laughs> monster reborn, again, only can use one of them. <laughs> Uh, and then it was Link Strike. Oh, we might be playing Pot of Avarice. Look at these staples. Look at these gorgeous staples. So juicy. Oh, shit. Super Nibble Mega Hamster. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Super Nibble Mega Hamster. Oh, I thought you said Super Nipple. Not quite. <laughs> All right, I'm going to need someone to talk me out of playing uh, Egyptian gods. Oh, come <laughs> on. It'll be fun. It'll be so fun. I've got my first Light Swan card ready for my Light Swan call. I'm just going to be pulling pure Light of Destruction for the rest of the series. <laughs> <laughs> GP, hi, I love you too. I'm going to have to learn Salaman greets on the fly. I think I've got one more. Power code link. Oh, we're almost there for mine. Oh, there's a magical merchant here. <laughs> no way. What if I build a, a deck of 40 uh, staple cards and no monsters? St staple spell and traps. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. And when you're when you're done adding everything, uh, you can press the little gavel button in the little row of buttons they have, and that'll automatically put it all into a deck, and then you can start trimming from there. The little gavel button. And then oh, there's yeah. A, there's a sort button if you want to sort everything by what everything is. Okay, so, oh lord, I don't, ah, oh, this is, this is the part that's going to start hurting my head real bad. Okay, so obviously we get rid of the <laughs> second Harpy's Feather Duster and the second Monster Reborn, because those are banned. I don't have Blue Eyes White Dragon, what? How do I pull things out of my deck? Uh, you just drag it. Oh, can I, I don't know what, I, I don't know what I removed. Oh no, you could just start over <laughs> So you only, okay, only removed one thing. You can just go back. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm going to start over. Uh, let's see. You <laughs> don't have Alistair or Invocation. Get rid of that. Where am I? Okay. Um, I, sorry, I got a Sky Striker Ray and a Sky Striker. Where's the other one I got? Is it Rose? 
Yeah. Me. Yeah. Uh, if you don't have other Sky Striker cards, they're pretty bad. You need like a whole. I got my, my first pack of maximum gold. I pulled three prank kits, and then after that, oh, sort by fil filter. Let's see. Don't have anything. Use user Gaia. collection. Reload. Got it. Scrap dragon okay. we might be able to make. Um... Rampaging smash take. Tank Rhino, Rhino Saver? That one. Oh, good lord. I don't know. This is... How the hell do you get started on this? Five level 12 monsters. Number C1000, Numeronius. Oh, we're not making I have that. that. <laughs> There's no yeah, way we're making that. Yeah, five level 12. <laughs> is it possible? I, I think it has an alternate summon condition. Don't need a Numeron gate for sure. Um, can't make Lagia. Hmm, interesting. That could actually work. Oh man, I am so go go me, please give me all the back seating. <laughs> should should um should we separate for a little bit so we we're not going to be like, talking because I feel like there's not a whole lot of interacting we can do here because we're just looking at completely different screens. Yeah, we could do that. So I think uh, I'm just going to mute myself. Yeah, I'll do the same. Yeah. Okay, and then and then we'll tap back in. When uh, when we're ready. Sounds good. All right, all right, gang. What the fuck are we doing? Uh, these are terrible. <laughs> uh, Striker Dragon is gone. We don't have boot sec sector launch. Um, fuck, man, this is bad. This is not very good. Uh, we don't have very many dragon maids. We can get rid of tidying. Reckless greed might actually be good for us. Um, yeah, it's going pretty well, Morphe. Uh, golden apples, I think it's actually going to be good. So is threatening roar. Transmigration prophecy. I don't know about that one. Um, do we have what do we have as far as prank kids go? We have. Flourishing Frolic, wait. Da, 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 da. Equal to the number of Flourishing, we only have one, so get right out of here. Get that out of here. Uh, we only have like a couple prank kids, but is that enough to do anything with? It's possible. I don't know a damn thing about prank kids. Where are they? Where are those damn prank kids? Oh, we're getting rid of Nerval. We don't have any other tri brigades. We don't have any other tri brigades, so we're getting rid of that. Um, Mari Mari is very funny. We might keep Mari Mari in. Because I have, I have things I can do with it. Because I think we can make Scrap Dragon off of Mari Mari. If we summon Mari Mari somehow, we'll, make, we'll be able to make Scrap Dragon off of it. Torpedo takedown. Target one water Ixies monster you control. Get out of here. We don't have a single water Ixies monster. Um, where are the prank kids? Uh, we'll get rid of Lily. Can't play that for sure. Um, Gizmek Uka, the festive festive fox of fecundity. I have no idea if that's good or not. Um, Rose Girl is not good because we don't have any plants. What is this? If you could hold your special summon this from your hand, 
The only special once per turn this way. How many dark monsters do we have? Okay, there's a prank kid. Prank kid dropsies. Um, is that it? Oh, we have uh, lamp seas as well. But I think that's it. I don't think we have any other prank kids. So I guess we can make Bow Wow bark. Prank kids monster this card points to gains a thousand attack during your opponent's turn. You can tribute some of this card and target two prank kids monsters with different names in your graveyard, except link monsters, add them to your hand. Also, prank kids monsters you control cannot be destroyed by a card effects this turn. Uh, it's 2000. And then there's this, but we can't fusion summon. I think we'll get rid of that and we'll get rid of the prank kids. I don't think that's happening. Oh, we definitely get rid of Exodia. For sure. Oh wait, the structure that comes with three rod disciple, doesn't it? All right, well, we'll keep that in mind. Buzzsaw shark. Um, okay. <clears throat> I don't think Buzzsaw Shark's going to be any good. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Bazoo could be funny. This is not happening. Um. Huh. Okay, this might, it's a little sus. Uh, we're getting rid of the Neos. Why, how do we get three elemental hero Neos? How did we get three? All right, Melfi Puppy. Ah, I don't know about that. We're definitely keeping in Scape Ghost. We're getting rid of Numeron Wall. We're getting rid of Volcanic Shell. Supply Squad. Maybe. Oh, Prank Kid Pranks. We have that. We're getting rid of it, though. Hmm. We'll think about that. Do we have Torrential Tribute? No. So we'll get rid of Fury of Kairu Shin. Um, Forbidden Dress? I think we'll get rid of that. Forbidden Chalice and Forbidden Lance are very good, though. We'll keep those. Urgent Schedule. Earth Machine Crap? Uh, no. I'll uh, get rid of Witchcrafter. Ixie's Import. That might be funny, actually. Uh, Soul Crossing, I'm thinking about. Link Bound. Target one Link monster you control, return it to the extra deck. If you do draw cards equal to its Link rating, then place cards from your hand. Oh no, terrible. Um, Circle of the Fire Kings. Target one Fire monster you control, one Fire monster in your graveyard, destroy that monster you control. Oh, it's Circle of Fire. Okay, so yeah, it's a Fire King card. Um, I don't think so. Call the Haunted is going to stay in, I think. No. Dozen match. We'll keep that in. We're getting rid of that. Metal Reflex Slime. Oh, uh, we don't have the... One to turn this into something good, do we? Um, It might still be worth it, honestly, to play. Um, getting rid of punishment. I don't, I don't even know. 
Uh, I think rage is supposed to be good. We're getting rid of the thunder canvas. We don't have weather painters. Uh, we'll get rid of that because that's super high roll. Uh, get rid of Numeron calling. Monster reincarnation will keep for now. Adam Emancipator friends. There's an Adam Emancipator monster as well. We might keep that. We're getting rid of Raviel. Raviel is very bad. Um, oh, I think we keep this. Beast King Barbaros. No. Kaiju we're keeping. Get rid of the Dark Lords. Um, Jacko Bolin's got to go. Rain Bofu has got to go. Bofu D's nuts. What the hell? No, get rid of that. Um, Awakened of the Possessed. We gotta get rid of that. We'll get rid of that. Oh, more Dark Lords. Get rid of those. Condemned Witch. Get rid of that. Uh, get rid of that. I think Reactor Slime actually might stay. Nimble Beaver. Nope, that's going. Ash Blossom staying. Phantom Knights are going. Okay, I guess we'll keep that. Um, for now. Oh, there's the Adam Emancipator. Get rid of that. We'll get rid of the Infernoble Knights and the Marincess cards. Um. Actually, I think we keep this. I think we keep that for now. Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of the Drytron. Goki Guts, actually, I think we're going to keep because it's just unable to be destroyed by battle. Lost World goes away. Lair of Darkness. No, let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Oops, my mouse is moving on its own. Spooky. <clears throat> uh, place them on top of your deck in random order, then draw one card. The rest of the turn, you cannot set spell or traps, also you can only activate one more card or effect. Okay, we'll get rid of that. Um, Infernoble Arms, get rid of that. Dogmaticism, bye-bye. Magician Salvation, bye-bye. Card Advance. That actually kind of seems good. Different dimension capsule. Oh, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Divine evolution. Mm. Uh, maybe. Swords is definitely staying in. Book of Moon is staying in. Eldlixer is going. We had, there were some other, there was Scarlet, Sang Scarlet Sanguine is going. Break off, trap hole. Oh, fuck off. Add Emancipator, or Raid Raptors, Phantom Knight Call. Okay, yeah, go. Um, Unmasked Dragon. Special Summon a Worm. No. Jabbing Panda. No, we don't have enough for that. Um, oh, you can go. <laughs> go. Moonlit chill. Um, no. 
Ra's Disciples bad. We're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of Five Phantom Sky Blaster as well, I think. Yeah, that's kind of bad. Photon Saber Tiger. Get rid of that. Goki Iron Claw. Do we keep Goki Iron Claw just for Goki Guts? Oh, here's our Infernoble Knight. Get rid of that. No, I don't think we do. Uh, we're going to keep Goki Guts, though. Um, Clock Wyvern. Uh, maybe. I don't know about that. Um. Oh! Locke, thank you for the raid! Welcome! How was your stream? How are you? What's up? We're we're currently building a deck, so you can't hear Kara right now. Uh, <laughs> Draw your last pathetic card so I can end this, Yugi. Thank you for the follow, Bone Worm. Thank you so much. Yeah, hope you had a good stream. Um, attach one material from next to target one face. Bad. <laughs> Fair. Yeah, I ho hope you're enjoying that. Uh Nimble Manga's too slow. We're gonna get rid of that. Um I think we're gonna get rid of the Melfies. They're cute, but uh they're not good. Also, we still need to cut down on some of these, so let's do that. Hey, there we go. Perfect. All right, how bad are we? We're still 96 cards in the main deck. Uh, we still, we need a side deck too. One time passcode. Okay. Four mud skipper. And if you do, and you link someone, you choose one with the same number. Oh. Does that matter for us? Maybe could that's interesting um trans modify send one face up monster you control to the graveyard special summon from your deck one monster the same type attribute as that grape okay no <laughs> numeron chaos ritual goodbye i don't know why i didn't get rid of you sooner resonator command bye Speaking of, we have exactly one resonator, right? Okay, that's actually gonna stay. Dark Lord, get out of here. I thought I got rid of all of you. <laughs> Artillery Catapult Turtle. Tribute one monster, especially some one guy of the fierce knight. Um <laughs> Vanishing a fire monster if your opponent destroys. If a card destroys oh this card destroys an opponent's monster. Inflict 1,500 to your opponent. Well, good luck getting it to destroy anything. Uh, the special summon is the good thing. Flamville Fire Dog. Woof woof. Special summon another fire monster with 200 or less defense. Are there any targets for that? Oh, okay. There is one. Is there more? 600? 1,000? 1,000? 15? Raccoon? No? That red Resonator. Okay. Uh, it's a questionable one. Uh, we'll get rid of that.
Uh, this one we I think we'll keep because we can special summon that pretty easily. Salaman Great beat Bison. Okay, that seems pretty reasonable. Also, chat, have a debate on which Egyptian god we're playing. I refuse to play both, but we're going to play one of them. Target three fish in your graveyard. Okay. Um, you can target a fish in your graveyard. Special summon it, but it can't. Okay. Fish. Um... Angel always seems kind of bad. Um, Bazoo is kind of bad. Nine-tailed fox. You contribute if you have two monsters to summon this card. You can only use this effect if this is special summon from the graveyard. Attacks. This card is destroyed. You can special summon two fox tokens. Uh, no, I don't think so. Actually, I'm going to get rid of this one too. Vishuda we might keep. But we'll see. Oh, this is tempting, but I think I'm going to get rid of it. I think we're going to do better if we get rid of a lot of the things that are from the Egyptian God deck. What are we at? 83? Uh, I'm going to put one of the soul crossings in the side deck. No, no, I'll put it. There it goes. <laughs> bye bye. All right, let me let me find it again. Um, soul cross. Oh, sold crossing. Okay, soul crossing. Let's uh let's put it back in. Oh, you can't put it. Okay, we're gonna put it in the side deck for now. Then we can't put it in because uh the deck is full. More than full. AIQ. Get rid of that. What is that still doing there? Get rid of this. Um, let's see here. Get rid of this. Um, breaker can stay. Uh, I guess we'll keep fencing fire parrot for now. Clock wyvern is gone. What does Millennium Seeker do? Get rid of that. That's terrible. Um, Scape Ghost is fucking good, though. We're gonna have some fun with that. Hopefully. Including a water monster. Do we have a water monster? Yeah, we do have Mari Mari. Um, we're running out of dark monsters, so I'm gonna get rid of this. What is this? Double summon? Tuck two normal summons, not just one. I don't know what Kara's back row removal is. So that actually might be really good. Um, we'll put supply squad in the side. Ooh, it's going to be hard to put it in the side. Okay. Oh wait, if I can if I do this, it should do it, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna put both of the supply squads in the side in case if when we find out what her back row removal's like. That'll be good. Ooh, I need some water.
I wish I knew more about Salaman Greats. <clears throat> I should have done some research last night. Is Paro is Paro good? Let's get rid of Electromagnetic Turtle. I don't think it's particularly good. I don't think that's very good. Um, Claw. That's probably not good. It's an equip spell. Sanctuary. Wall, will of the Salaman Great. Seems pretty good. Circle is supposed to be really good, right? Yeah, I think so. Um, Raccoon seems kind of bad. 70 cards, 70 cards, we're getting there. I think Roar is supposed to be really good. Yeah, it's like a counter trap. That's crazy. And then Gift. Uh, I think I'll actually keep that in. Rage. We might maybe keep that too. God damn. Sorry about that. My uh, throat is having some issues. Okay, we're going to get rid of March of the Monarchs. Oh, this is not as good as I thought it was. Okay, we'll get rid of it. Um, get rid of a shooter. It's going to brick a lot. We'll put one time passcode in the side. Um, sixty six. All right, we're getting to a deck. We're getting to a deck slowly but surely. I think I'm going to go with Obelisk. Let's get rid of Slifer. Let's get rid of the Slifer cards. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. I think that's all the Cypher cards. Um, I feel like this card isn't very good. I'm going to get rid of it. Soul Crossing is very good, though. Um, Fist of Fate. You negate the effects of one effect monster your opponent controls if you do destroy it. And if you do that for the rest of this turn, the effects of that monster are negated, as well as the activated effects and effects of the, on the field of monsters of the same original name. Then, if you activated this card during the main phase, you can apply this effect. Destroy all spell and traps your opponent controls. All right. I think we're going to keep that, actually. Um, God, we're in like a... Weird place. I'm going to quickly, let's look up Salaman Great and see what people are actually, which cards people are playing. Man, great. And like, obviously we only have one of each. Oh, that's not what I want. Salaman Great from the deck. Salaman Great deck. Jesus. Archives. Y-G-O-P-R-O-D-E-C-K.com. Sure, we'll take a look at this one. So they're playing Falco, Jack Jaguar, Foxy, Spinny. 
and no other ones. All right. So, oop, wrong one. All right. Um, so we have Jack Jaguar. I'm going to get rid of Paro. I think Paro is bad. Spinny, Foxy. I'm going to keep Gazelle, Falco, Wolvie. I'm going to keep Wolvie. Um, sure. Mirror. Uh, get rid of that. What's mold do during your main phase? You can link some if you link some of specialist. Oops, not what I wanted. Get rid of that. I don't think it's very good. Um, what are they? What else are they playing? They're playing rage and they're playing roar. And they're playing Will and Sanctuary and Circle. Okay. Again, I'm going to the wrong page. Um, so they're not playing Gift, which I think is fair. It seems like a win more card. Okay, 18 cards left to get rid of. Um, cloning. We'll get rid of cloning. Metal Reflect Slime can stay for big booty purposes. Um, Golden Apples is very funny. Threatening Roar is funny. Reckless Greed is going. Uh, Mirror Force and Johnny Mirror Force are staying. Ixie's import is leaving. We're not really going to be making a whole lot of Ixies, I don't think, except for maybe the Salaman Great one. Fencing Fire Ferret is gone. Actually, Fencing Fire Ferret is going in the side. Need to fill out our side deck as well. Just like Fencing Fire Ferret is in case we're like, we really want to get some burn damage going. Oh, the Beat Bison. Uh, we'll put the Beat Bison in the side. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to put the Kaiju in the side in case we need it, but I don't think we're going to need it game. Like it's, it's entirely possible. We won't actually need it, you know? Um, Inferno is going in the side in case we need more special summon. We've like, we're just not special summoning well, well enough. We're not getting stuff on the field, but I feel like we will be pretty good at that. Um, do we even want Mari Mari? It is pretty high roll. All right, we're going to get rid of it. I think this happens a lot in this deck. Hi, Ellie. Welcome, welcome. Oh, wait, I have like music I should be playing. Let's play some music. That'll help. All right, 50 cards. 50 cards is pretty good. Um, Monster Reincarnation is going to go in the side. What are we using different dimension capsule for? Like obelisk, I guess. We'll put it in the side in case we really want to go hard on obelisk. Hi, Morphe. slime actually kind of looks pretty bad um back to the front i think we're gonna put in the side 
kind of working off the idea of like more of a transformative back or um side deck rather than one that's to adjust for things because we just don't have enough cards to adjust for anything okay so yeah i'm gonna put double summon over there as well i don't want to get blown out by back row removal Keeping Breaker is a good idea. I think we should really be focusing on spells and traps to put in the side. Goes and Match actually is one to put in the side because we don't know what she's going to be playing. Swords. Yeah, I think brain control as well. Go in the side. All right, now let's get rid of two more cards. What do you What do you think, Chat? What do you think? Because this looks pretty solid. Maybe you get rid of Flamville. Yeah, I think get rid of Flamville. This doesn't really apply to most of our cards. One card over limit the uh, thing isn't too bad. The, the minimum. Oh, right, the Soul Crossing is still on the side. Um, okay, now we're two cards over. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to put that back in. There we go. And we have one card we can put in the side. Only we had Almirage. Having Almirage would be so. Okay, I guess Bailings will do well too. Bailings will do pretty well. <laughs> uh, we, we actually did pull one piece of Exodia. I'm not playing it though. You need all five pieces at the very least. And, uh, it's not a very good deck. It's not a very good deck. Do we just play this that we have right now? I'm very tempted to put Breaker in the side, but I think we need more. Actually, you know what? No, I actually will. I'm going to put Breaker in the side. We need some more Spell and Trap. We don't have much Spell and Trap, though. We do have Harpies, though. And Obelisk's Fist of Fate. It's pretty Spell and Trap removal. This seems not bad. I mean, it's bad, but it's like not the worst it could be. Well, 
Let's go back to when trees Honestly, so Ash Blossom might be coming out when we, when we side. Depends on what kind of effects Kara has going on. Um, you know what? I think I think we're good. We're never making this. We're never making this. I don't think. Oh, we know we do have Earth. We could make Ausa. Uh, I don't think we have a single water though. Yeah. Are we ever making this? I mean, I guess we could. Let's see. Two. So like a three and a four. Yeah, we have threes and fours. Same with that. And then this one's an eight, so two and then a, wait, no, it's two. So it would be a three and a two. And then the three and a three and a two would make Scrap Dragon. It's possible. Car is getting close to done too. I guess we're never gonna set off that second effect, I don't think. Um, I don't think we have any targets that fit that. Do we have anything that has... Well, there's Obelisk, but that won't fit because it's not, it doesn't fit the attribute requirement. I don't think we have a single target that fits that. Well, actually we do. We have Scape Ghost. So if it's a dark, but Scape Ghost wants to be flip summoned, so I would not do that. God, if only Scape Ghost was a beast. Nimble Mega Hamster into Scape Ghost would be fucking crazy. I do foresee an issue with Soul Crossing, actually. The issue being we only have Obelisk. That's the only thing that'll work with Soul Crossing. Part of me that actually wants to put uh, that wants to put the Soul Crossing back in the side deck. 
uh, one, one copy of it at least. I'm considering it. I don't know. I, mean, I just realized this is a water, so we can actually make area off of the metal reflex slime. That's silly. That's very silly. Is, in, is Foxer good? I don't think it is actually. Okay, there we go. 40 cards. Uh, we're like really low on monsters. I hope that's not an issue. Alright, let's export this to a YDK. go where you cannot and put it in the right place. Um, you gotta do like a whole fucking thing for this. Alright. It is. Alrighty. So let's uh, swap over to the game scene, the gamma seal. This is the deck from uh, the other, the randomized draft duel that we did a little bit ago. All right, here it is. Here is the deck. Oh, I didn't realize Salaman Great Circle was limited one. Oh, so is Gazelle. Alright. We did pretty good. Yeah! That's exactly it, Ellie. Hi, hi, I'm ready. I'm ready too. I'm just getting my deck into Edo Pro. Alrighty, sounds good. Perfect. I just got that, that took a lot longer than I thought it would. Yeah, no, it's it's a lot to prune down the deck. I, I, it took it took a while. It took a while, <laughs> and um. Even even now, I'm like I, I only got my my deck down to forty two cards. Oh yeah, I was I was thinking I might have a forty one card deck for a while, and then I found a card to get rid of. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I'll find cards to get rid of as well as I play it, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, I just need to find. I've got my I've, I've exported the deck as a as a YDK file. I just need to find where EDO Pro is. Yeah, so the right. Edo Pro folder, if it if you installed it by the default way, um, mm -hmm. it'll be like the first. It'll be in the first window as soon as you open up your C drive. For some reason, it creates an entirely separate folder in your C drive for itself. Project Ignis, there it is. Yep. <laughs> and then, do I go to deck? Yes. Yeah, found it. Perfect. I might actually just get rid of a bunch of these, get starter decks out of here. Gotta get rid of all of these. Delete. <laughs> That's gonna make it so much easier to navigate. <laughs> um, okay, um, right, so. Um, downloads, my YDK. Um, cut. And then back to um, C, um, Project Ignis, deck, 
paste. Cyber, okay, let's go. Alrighty. So what are you, what are you running? I'm running a very crusty Salaman great deck. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, I'm running a very bewildered Cyber Dragon deck. <laughs> very bewildered Cyber Dragon deck. Um, okay, so. All right, I'm setting up the room right now. Yeah, everything looks good. That's not updated yet. All right. Room is set up. It's an EU central casual. Okay. Exit. Um, servers. Uh, EU central casual. Yes. Uh, and then make sure you have Refresh? show locked rooms turned on. Yeah. And uh, I'll be the one named Ian. Oh. oh. Where do you go? There you are. <laughs> um, password? Yeah, I sent you the password on Discord. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you. Oh, this is fun! Ah. <laughs> uh... Hi, Haru. Okay. Okay, okay, shit. We're doing it. Hell yeah. Um, ready? Alrighty. Let's get in. Let's go. Let's here's go. The most important part. Oh. You may go first. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Ah, uh, hi, Harry. So, let's see here. <laughs> yeah, let me read my cards. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, so I think we want with someone foxy. I can't read. I can't read that. Why is that so low, low res? Yeah, you have to like hover over it and look, read the text that they have in the thing. Um, cool. Um, oh, I remember this. How do they do it again? We'll go into bed. card info. Thank you, thank you, Gummy. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so this is one of your cards. Salman Great Sentry from your deck to your hand. Okay, okay, okay. Then we have it in hand already, um, and then we'll uh, I guess we'll do this. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to. Hmm. And I've essentially turned the time limit off, so uh, we have thank plenty of time. you, thank you. Yeah. Does this thing have any battle effects? Okay. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna do some things. I'm gonna do some things and just see what happens. I'm going to special summon Link Slayer. And then I'm going to... Oh, are you chaining? Nope. Okay, then normal summon... Cyburst Gadget. Ah. What do we have access to here? No targets for that. No targets for that. That makes sense. No. Uh -huh. Do it. Oh, I probably I put my link slayer in a bad zone. Can I activate the effect of Cyber's gadget? <laughs> you would assume wrong, Ellie. It does not play like Pokemon DCG at all. 
token? Token? What can I do now? <laughs> I don't even know. I'm just like seeing what flashes up. Whoa, we can make loads of stuff now. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> um, when cards are in the extra monster zones, can they attack each other? Yeah. Okay. It looks really silly, but they can. Oh, I have so I have I have I actually have options. So this is like my entire extra deck is now summonable. Um, so please bear with me while I read these cards. <laughs> I don't want face uh... Doesn't seem like a... oh okay. Okay, I don't know if it's that. What's this? I don't know if it's that either. What's this? Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, I keep forgetting to do that, Haru. <laughs> I think it might be this. I think it might be this. Uh huh. So many special summon from hands, and I have an empty hand. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna link. I'm just gonna link away all of that shit. And the Bellcat oh, Fighter. Oh, Bellcat Fighter. Uh, and then we're gonna go to the battle phase. You're gonna Bellcat fight me. Yes, I am. <laughs> Attack. Phase two, I'm just gonna set one. And I'm gonna end my turn. Okay, that was, I, I got a link free. Look at that. <laughs> that was so cool. Um, I did it, I did it. Oh God, I wanna OTK you so bad. I wanna draw limiter removal. <laughs> 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 oh, things are happening. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, chain. No. So you can like ignore chain. These these features I've seen before in like Yu-Gi-Oh games, like just being able to hold to. Uh... Well, you can do that in arena. You can hold space or something to always ignore, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't. I don't know the exact thing. Okay, okay. I'm doing it. I'm playing modern Yu-Gi-Oh! Look at me. That's a Ling monster that I summoned. I did it. <laughs> uh, what's this? Card advance. It's a very bad card, but I'm playing it. <laughs> okay, look at the top five cards of your deck, then place them on the top of the deck in any order. You contribute some one monster. Oh, Monarchs! Let's go! No, I, that's fine. You can go ahead and do that. Declare a number. Oh, up to five. You can look at up to, up five. to five. Okay. Um, <laughs> I case, choose one. Yeah, exactly. Like, why? Um, yeah, Link Link Karibo does seem very good. Link Spider and Link Karibo seem like really good Link staples. I'm happy I have those. <coughs> Wait, have they summoned this one again? One normal. Oh, right, yes, which we have access to. Okay. Okay. So, um, no, I will not chain. No way. No way. <laughs> I gotta go for it. I'm going to switch uh, Bellcat token to attack mode. I am going to... Um... Okay. 
you have something that activates in the graveyard, summon great. No, never mind. I think I don't know why. Oh, it's this one. Um, if it would be destroyed by battle or card effects, that's okay. I am going to compulse your Foxy. All right. Okay. Is that all right? Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to activate limited removal. Mm -hmm. We're going to go battle phase. I'm going to attempt to attack for four, uh, for eight thousand. Call oh. the haunted. What are we? Uh, we're getting this. <laughs> Replay. Do you want to continue the battle? Yes. Wait, did you book a moon your own card? Yep. To get in the defense. See... Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. We're doing some I, I weird plays just... here. <laughs> the plays you need to make to stay alive. Now, I'm curious. Is limited removal going to kill this token? Or does it only apply to destroy those monsters? We're good. We're good. Limited removal. Um, you can't bomb links, B O M. Yeah, you can't. Okay. You can't do Book of Moon on links because link monsters have oh, no defense. Because they don't have a defense. Yes, of course. Um, I'm going to go to main phase two. I'm and you going also to... can't Book of Moon tokens. Oh, oh! I can link off. Oh my god, that's. I can link off, can't I, with these monsters so they don't destroy themselves. Mm hmm. Power Code Talker. Uh -huh. And then I will set a card and end my turn. Oh, I'm making, I'm making plays! <laughs> what does this one do? I only summoned it so my monsters won't get destroyed. <laughs> um, what's the turn you can target? Do we have any quick effects? Yes, but nothing that would actually activate. Okay, so it's just got once per turn I can just target a card and the effects negate. That's not bad. Um, Should be one monster. Double, okay. Oh, another Bailinx. Okay, okay. I managed to get around your last one by compulsing <laughs> rather than destroying. Uh, let's see here. Da, da, da. <coughs> okay, what's this one? Foul. What is a cyburst? Is it just like a. It's part of the virtual reality stuff from the new. Yeah, yeah, it's basically any cyber monster. <laughs> <laughs> got it, got it. So it just it, it can be anything. A cyber monster can literally be anything, like a like a winged beast that is on fire. It's not a winged beast or a pyro, it's a cyber. Yeah, exactly. Ah, because machines were too good. That makes sense. Um I think we have to do this. Is that the same for worms and dragons? Dragons had enough support, so yep. they made worms. Yep, That's exactly. Valid. You know what? Valid. Um, what are you doing here? Salaman Great Circle. It's just a searcher? Yeah, you're searching, yeah. right? Okay. Foul. Uh, normal special summoned. You can special summon this card from your hand. You can send one Salaman Great card from your hand or target. Cannot be activated. Oh, okay. So it just freezes a face down. By, by pitching a card, you can freeze a face down. That's not bad. Because then you can activate that effect and then link it off. So you can kind of like drive by that effect mid combo, right? Yeah. That's pretty good, actually. I'm gonna grab Spinny. Activate Spinny. Target Foul. I haven't played a single fucking Cyber Dragon card this game. <laughs> spinny effect to special. Okay. 
then we'll grab uh actually let me see all the I options here I have a Leo. Eat Leo. Ooh. Get rid of your back row. That's fine. That's fine. Use Heat Leo you... to summon Heat Leo. Eh? Huh? Heat Leo effect to make your monster's no. attack equal to Balinx's attack. No! <laughs> yeah, can be good for it. 100% please. Yeah, damn it, damn you. Okay. I do not want to trigger that effect. I could have done. I could have done. Okay, here's something. Uh. uh. Haru, the answer to that is Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> uh, Yu-Gi-Oh has worms, and it also has worms. <laughs> worms with a Y and worms with an O. <laughs> I don't... Oh, I'm oh, getting, I'm getting oh. Kara cut back up. That's what it is. <laughs> so I actually can't use this card. I don't have any more Link ones, do I? No. Oh! No. I can't. Go me, I can't do that. I'm going to set. I'm going to T set. I'm going to T set. Probably shouldn't have put that there, but uh, hopefully columns won't matter. I might. I have one card that has <laughs> column stuff. It's true. It's true. <laughs> I'm going to have to get used to playing around that. Granted, a monster Ooh. doesn't matter as much, but... Uh... Okay, I'm going to activate... <laughs> yeah! Okay, okay, okay. I've got a coach, and my, my Gomi's coaching me. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, there's a card that, like, they were explaining the value of, and I was like, oh, yeah, okay, 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 I'll stick it in. And it's, I've just pulled it, and I'm like, this is how this is what it'll work. <laughs> I'm going to activate um, Cyber Repair Plan mm -hmm. to activate one. Yeah, you know what it does. I'm gonna get a original Cyber Dragon. Mm -hmm. um, I am going to special summon my Cyber Dragon. I'm going to normal summon my Fairy Tail Luna. Ah. I'm going to activate the quick effect of Fairy Tail Luna to bounce your Heat Leo. Mm -hmm. And then I am going to um, I am going to swing into your. That card. It's the Mega Hamster. Okay, okay. Ooh, super nimble Mega Hamster. I love that. Does it not? Do you not? Wait, I, can I you not activate its effect? Don't you don't have I a have target? In, in deck anymore. Oh no. Oh, you've used them all. Okay, got it. Okay, M phase. Okay, what have we got in here? Um, face up. Okay, so Luna is face up. Got it. Get that off the field. <laughs> um, 
Okay, <laughs> I'm going to normal summon. Hang on, let me read. Let me read your card before I start doing crazy things. Um, excavate. Use a graveyard. You can discard. Don't have anything to discard. Special summon. You can't do anything with that. That's just a body. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Normal summon fairy tale Luna. I'm not going to activate her effect. I'm going to activate her hands and swing into... <laughs> <laughs> and swing into Foxy. Chain the card. No, I'm not. It really wants me to activate her. I had to really carefully click. Okay, and then I'm going to... Um... Wait, is that for the rest of the turn? It's immune to battle? Um, no. Okay, that's fine. It's a it's a replacement effect, so no problem. Okay, and then I'm going to end my turn. Saving Miller, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cottage. Also, um, Keg Slow Ethel. Yep, we're done. <laughs> we're done? Yeah. Yay! Okay, can I can I beat you to death with a Sangyan? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can do a link! No, I'm not. I'm uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just let's just I won! That was awesome! I did like <laughs> some cool So I'm I'm really curious if that link card I used um was part I think I pulled that one actually, the plane, the summon tokens. I think I actually pulled it from the tin or something. Let's see here, I need that. Don't need to save the replay. I don't think I'm gonna oh yes I am. I'm going to trim my deck. Actually, you know what? I actually kinda like this. I did actually kind of like this. That's pretty good. Is there anything here? I, f I feel like my problem here is I actually don't have enough monsters. Huh. I do have searches. <coughs> we are just going to... Why is it 41? I swear it was 42. This can go, but... I'm sure I had a 42 card deck. Why do I have a 41 card deck? Did I take something out? really bizarre. I don't know. Side deck incomplete. I, that's really bizarre. I feel like a card vanished from my deck. Weird. I swear it was, I swear it was a 42 card deck. Um. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, scary! Oh no! Um... Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. I am going to special summon my cyber dragon. Uh -huh. I am going to normal summon my cyber dragon Zwei. Uh -huh. Oh, thank you, Kexlo. So apparently when importing cards with multiple artworks, uh, cards like Reborn can vanish. Hmm. 
Well, I'll my reborn to... kept in, so I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, we I don't know if that. I have a reborn. Uh, I am going to attempt to attack with Cyber Dragon and your face down. Go ahead. Goki Guts. I've heard of Gokis. Yeah. Defense position card cannot be destroyed by battle. Okay, cool. <laughs> Interesting. Destroy my monster. <laughs> 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 He's got guts, I'll give him that. Hmm. Yeah, he's very gutsy, I don't like it. Well, I'm in my battle phase, so there's literally nothing I can do. Swap it over to main phase two and then start thinking. I don't like that I can't link anything with these because they're not cybers, but <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah. Let's see. Here. Just need one more cyber dragon and power bonds, and I'm just gonna hit you with the uh, hit you with the classic. Uh, oh, what was his name? Zane Truesdale OTK. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Blast over that mudball man of yours, sir. 5,000 points of damage. Oh my god! It, I'm intimidated! Woo! Okay. I'm gonna activate Cyber Emergency. I kind of want to just search. <laughs> I want to see if I have anything in my deck that can help me. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that might be it. This might be the card. Okay, let me just read everything else. No. 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 I'm gonna add Cyber Dragon Core. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Yeah. I'm going to normal summon my core which lets me search a cyber spell trap then let's have a look here <laughs> the chances I actually pull this off <laughs> I'm going to activate Cyberload Fusion. Uh -huh. What? Wait. Cyber Dragon? Cyber Dragon? Cyber Dragon? Excuse me? No, no, that was definitely in my... Wait, what's happening? Oh, no. oh I didn't read my cards. <laughs> oh, no. Ah! <laughs> no! I wanted my Cyber End Dragon. That's not fair. It won't let me redo, so I have to summon fucking Chimera Tech Over Dragon. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Lame! <sighs> Think of it is. We'll, uh, that. Okay. It is. It is Haru. Not reading cards is the proper Yu-Gi-Oh experience. Yeah, oh, it's hard. It's like there's so many, so many. Wait, so what? There you are! So it's definitely my Cyber Dragon's in there. 
Fusion summon with shuffling the fusion listed into your deck, including a Cybertrack from among the monsters on your field. There's no reason! I don't see why this shouldn't have worked! Ian, can you see on my Cyberload Fusion why it wouldn't let me summon Cyber and Dragon with the free Cyber Dragons I had in my field? Um. Third one is only Cyber Dragon in the graveyard. What? Oh! Uh. Not on the field. Oh, I get it. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. I understand. I understand. Um. I've used my normal summon, haven't I? Yeah. I am just going to end my turn. I hate this. I'm just going to end my turn. All right. All right. Oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> I was going to hit you with the Zane Trees tail. <laughs> That's so lame. Okay, what does this one do? I'm going to normal summon fairy tale Luna. Mm -hmm. So facts are negated. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Not having that. <laughs> I can quick affect the Luna? Oh. Oh, no way, it's a quick effect. Yeah. That actually goes through. That's the problem well, does, here. Does the chain resolve, actually? Yeah, because mine's chain link too, so mine goes first. Ah, uh, quick effects are stupid. Oh, okay. What's happening here? Oh. Ah! <laughs> Could, couldst thou not? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but you only get it until the end of the turn, so this is just a stall. Yeah. That's fine. Okay, yeah, you can take my... you can take it. And then there's... Wait, why is it... Oh, this attack goes up because of the thingy. Got yeah, it. because of Forbidden Okay, Chalice. that's fine. End phase, give it back. Unless you can do something with it. Does he have a tribute card? I am curious as to whether this works. <laughs> Oh, no, but it's the effect of enemy controller. So you would have to negate the effect of enemy, enemy controller, surely. I yeah, think, I, yeah I, think the, I think the effect was already activated. I was just curious if it would work. Mm -mm -mm. Um, oh, interesting. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you in attack position? Yeah, it's you, you uh, call, <laughs> call the haunted only does it in attack position. Oh, I see, I see. I should have changed it at the end of the uh end of your phase, but uh Yeah, yeah, that would have worked. You're stuck with that <laughs> in attack position. If I have anything to say about it, you're stuck with that. Um oh, if only it was if only it was indestructible in attack position, because this thing can beat into you as many times. Three times. <laughs> um That's fair hard. Defense position. Ah oh, I think I, I like the card advantage I have here. I think I'm just gonna keep cards in hand and just keep hating you. I hope you win. I could do something here, but I think I'm just, I think I am just going to smack into this. One of the few times Call of the Haunted actually does get destroyed. 
Yes. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really do that much anymore, does it? I, I feel like once uh, Synchro's entered the uh, format, Call of Haunted's just started sticking around on the field. I should have normal summoned my Luna. <laughs> oh well, that's fine. Um, okay, you're sh you're moving now. Inferno, no way! <laughs> wow! Wow, right, your card pool is not as deep as mine. I had to cut so many. I had to cut the entire Cyberdark engine. Uh, there's a reason I'm playing Inferno. It's not a good one, but it's a very silly one. Um, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um... Wow, this... Oh, two fire monsters for this little guy, huh? Yeah. I'm there's like <laughs> half of my deck I'm not seeing. These these games, it's really weird. I'm just gonna I'm gonna activate this. And um, we're going to swing in with Over Dragon. Matt, I loved summoning Over, um, Over Dragon, like, back in the day. I love the the original Cyber Dragon OT OTK decks. Yeah, yeah. When you would, like, God, like, one in 20 games, you would be able to, like, power bond out your uh, Cyber End Dragon, and it would <laughs> always be, like, Sakuretsoed or Bottomless or something. Yeah. But you, if you had it, you had to play it. You know, <laughs> you, you yeah. would, you would have to. Okay. I feel like, so far from what we've seen here, staples are making the main difference. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to normal summon Goblin Berg. I'm going to activate it. Summon out my Sangan. I'm gonna try something. You saw the card I searched, didn't you? Uh, you see the you see the Kasangan draw, don't yeah, you? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I figured, even though the Overdragon had more attack, I figured searching out an effect Valor might just win me the game. <laughs> it just cuts off like one. Um, oh, it's not as impressive as I thought it would be. But... Oh, that was Miku. Oh, it kind of does. Effect Baylor has Miku energy. Effect Baylor has huge Miku energy, actually.
So now Deco Talker has fodder for its effect. No, I don't want to chain. Wait, what? Oh, I fucked that up. Oh, well, that's fine. That's fine. Um, I'm going to. Battle phase. Attack. I didn't even notice you had to feel. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> doesn't do anything. Oh, okay, okay. No, we playing playing Will of the Salaman great fucked me up. All right, Haru, have a nice work. That was fun. I didn't I didn't read Will of the Salaman great enough. <laughs> oh, no worries. So yeah, um, that was an interesting start. That's an interesting start. I feel like I have two kind of cores. I have my Cybus Link core and I have my Cyber Dragon core. I, I could even swap my... Yeah, go on. I have too few monsters. That's what I have. Yeah. My so spell what, and trap what, what lineup do you is think... crazy, but uh, my monsters mm -mm -mm. are thin. Yeah. So um, what do you think What do you think your plan will be to remedy this next time when you, when you get your budget? Uh, the plan... Uh, is to just put in more of the monsters that I already have because I don't I don't know uh, how well I'm gonna be able to pull the cards to go with this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. God, it's gonna be so it's gonna be so long before we can actually start to build. It's gonna take us a while, isn't it? <laughs> I had some crazy cards that just never came to me. and goats guts came out and that was nice. Yeah, uh, guts showed up actually. I have my own cyber dragon. Uh, yeah. I have scape ghost, which is awesome. Ooh. Uh, I, I do have obelisk. I want to see. I want to get pounded by obelisk. Uh, I have a true king, which is like could have been really summonable, but uh, yeah, I might actually get rid of this gizmek. Gizmek was terrible. Oh, by the way, that set card was drowning mirror force. <laughs> Wait, does that not work? What drowning mirror force saying? only works when a, you declare a direct attack. So the, the fact that I activated Salam Will of the Salamangrates and special summon the Link monster uh, made it impossible for me to activate it. Mm, mm, mm. I, I didn't activate it the turn before because I was like, I could take the hit and then I'll save this for next turn. And if it, oh, that no. she summons something and then I summon something. And I was like, oh wait, that doesn't work. Yeah, I, my my chat was pointing out a few misplays. I I I both games I could have gamed you sooner. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, That's, that was fun. That was I, I'm I'm really glad I went with the structured decks I did because it's been a really fun way to experiment with link summons. Yeah, and I have like a, I have a deep pool. I have a big extra deck full of link monsters that I can do different things with, and that's really great. And I enjoy it. Yeah. Um, oh man, yeah. I really wish I had seen my Ash Blossom at all. That would have been cool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't get my Imperm, so. Yeah, yeah. Red Resonator, the only tuner I have in my deck. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have Synchros? I don't have I any have, Synchros. Or I have three Synchros, and two of Ooh. them are actually not bad. Ooh. Scrap Dragon. Ooh, oh, yeah, that's not bad. That's and a Vega generic. Rhino Saber, the Mad Dash Armory. I think I have that one. Yeah, I think it's a easy one to pull. I think it was one we pulled. Yeah, yeah. So, since we opened the same sets, mm -hmm. I think um, I think what we could do in two weeks is duel again, 
but have a look like actually have a look at each of his collection and see what we've got and stuff yeah and like look, compare notes and then and like maybe come up with a plan of where we're spending our money next uh, session yeah there's a there's a part of me right now that's like uh clearly you're spending too much money on megatons and stuff like that the the obvious answer is to go full synchro storm and go lyralisk <laughs> yeah see i had that same thought as well when see his his yeah i think 30 dollars for maximum gold when you get so few cards out of it mm -hmm. is not great i think a megaton megatons are maybe okay yeah because they have good staples in it and you get a lot of cards you get like three times more cards than you get out of a box of gold yeah but um, yeah, I actually thought maximum gold was a huge waste of money at this stage. Yep. Because like thirty dollars, that could have been like eight, like booster packs or something, right? Yeah, something like that. I'd, I'd have to look. Um, up. Are booster packs booster like four dollars? Something like yeah. Usually, it depends on the booster pack. Okay. If I remember yeah. correctly, Synchro Storm is four dollars for two booster packs. Whoa! No way. They're, they're smaller packs. It's like it's like I think it's like five oh, cards. Oh, okay, pack. okay. <coughs> so I think sense. you're still out ahead because regular packs are nine cards per pack. Mm, mm, mm. So you get one extra card. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I might actually get. An I think I might go for another tin and then packs myself, and I will have a look to see which set could maybe expand on what I've currently got the most. Yeah, I honestly, I feel like I don't understand Salamangrates enough to play them. So I think mm -hmm. I'm going to try and move away from Salamangrates. I have um, I have a lot of like Ignister Island stuff, and that seems to be kind of Cybers Link oriented. Yeah, Ignister is a fun deck, but it requires you to get all the Ad Ignister monsters to play it like optimally. And How? you have to get the arrival cyber side Ignister. That's like the boss monster for the deck. Uh huh. Well, I mean, my goal is to kind of augment my current Link mm -hmm. deck rather than complete full, uh, full. You know, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Um. Uh, so, so like, any any archetype that can synergize well with Link monsters, I feel like is probably going to be a would do pretty that. well there, I think. But a lot of their cards are like specifically Attic Ignister, like. Yeah. So you'll want to get a lot of the Attic Ignister cards. To play I think there's the a lot of cards. those in the Mega Tens. I will look into it Leave to them. see whether it's better to pull them through the tins or pull them um, through packs. Because yeah. if the packs are like two years old, they're not going to be cheap. Yeah. yeah. Typically, anyway. But I think that's where I'm going first. I, I still would love to go for something like Prank Kids, but I massively overestimated how many cards you would get in the Gold series. And the Prank Kids seem to be pretty hard to pull, just specifically. Yeah. Like, I got a, I got like a, a couple. Well, I, I got three four. in my first pack, and that was it. So I, I had like two monsters and two spell traps. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some research. Now I know what my deck looks like. I can look at the future and have a bit, bit more of a handle on what the fuck's going on. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. I got no, like, there's nothing more overwhelming. I, like looking at 250 cards in my collection and just like trembling, like, where do I begin? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was like, yeah. okay, first we're going to get rid of the illegal cards, and then... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I have any illegal cards, actually. I, I had, I had um, two Harpy's Feather Duster, so I was like, I gotta get rid of one of those. Uh, two Monster yeah, yeah, Reborn, yeah. gotta get rid of one of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I had a lot Man. of the Egyptian God stuff. Not a lot. I had like a small spattering of Egyptian God stuff. Didn't see any of yeah. it. Ah, uh, that's sad. Um, hopefully we'll see some Egyptian God stuff next time. Maybe. If you I might, pull I might badly. get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you if you just go, it's it's fifty dollars isn't enough to get a full box, is it? Nowhere near. No, not unless you have a very bad box or a small box or. Yeah. Synchro Storm. But I mean, if you're be. just opening, if you're just opening pure Synchro Storm, I think that's probably gonna upgrade you pretty hard. Oh my God, Synchro Storm fifty one ninety seven. <laughs> For a box. For a box. Hey, I mean, and the Synchro Storm box, I believe, is like thirty-six packs instead of twenty-four because it's mm, one of the small packs. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Listen, hey, listen. If um, 
if it's still around that price, I mean, we could, we could also work out how much we... No, we wouldn't have saved anything, would we? It would have been so close to the wire on 100. Never mind. Yeah. Um. You could maybe put your uh, single to it. Yeah, I don't I, I don't know how to check the prices of the singles efficiently uh, at mm -hmm. this point. So, I should have um, written them down. Yeah, um, where's my collection? Here? I think the what was the priciest card you pulled? Do you remember? I genuinely don't know. Um, oh, TCG Cause... player prices. Uh, estimated value of collection, thirty-five dollars. The entire collection. Yeah. Uh, how do I get my collection up again? Oh, some of them have prices in the collection section, and some of them don't. That's interesting. Like it's like. My uh, Ash Blossom is not applicable for some reason. Like, I was about to say, Ash Blossom is like $20. So, like, it's, it can't be that bad. Okay, so my total collection card market is saying $89. TCG player is saying uh, $120. Yeah. So, I actually made a. I, I potentially made a, a game here. Yeah, today. That, that thing that I just did, I don't think that's accurate. I'm just looking at my full collection. Yeah. My 160 card collection. Yeah, I'm looking at my 200 card collection, and it's sort by. It's just a lot of them are not applicable. Basically, every yeah. structure deck one, it seems, is, is declaring is un not applicable. Oh, mm, wait. Interesting. Let me do. If I do that, let you. Ah, it's because it entered them as unlimited when they're only available as first editions. Is there a way to sort by card value? I wanna, I wanna see. I have no idea. I wanna see what my prices card is. I'm pretty sure it was. Um, where were you? It was I gotta something. Go my something. My coach said was a really good card. D Dogma, Dark Lord. No, it wasn't that one. Was it Nadir Servant? Nadir Servant. That was it. Yes, Nadir Servant. Um, that's, a, that's a good one. About uh, 15, 15 euros, I think it was. Fifteen dollars. Yeah, and the deer server yeah, is also... really good if you end up getting Ecclesia. Well, I think what I might end up doing is keep hold of like a more valuable um card. And I think what I'm gonna do is actually just punt my dark magician. <laughs> <laughs> my five dollar dark magician. Yeah. Oh wait, gotta... no, it's not five dollars. This is giving me five fifty cents. Oh, speaking of the, how bad the maximum gold was, I looked back. I had three Elemental Hero Neos from that set. No way! They gave me three premium gold Elemental Hero Neos. Oh my god, that's Just awful! Garbage, absolute garbage. That's so, oh, that's such a hamstring to you as well because those were those were expensive boxes. Yep. And yeah, three wait, of my I think four packs. really fumbled. <laughs> three of my four packs. Oh my god. I, I, I do think, I actually do think. But then again, like, you could have been Verte, you know? Like, yeah. there's, there are some real power cards in there. I just think it's too early for us to be digging for power cards. I think we need bulk. Right now, we need bulk. <laughs> I think the Megatons are still a pretty good value. I think I, I, I was pretty happy with my yeah. Megaton actually, and I, there is still good chances of pulling like and if you, good if you, staples, I Strikens Prison, and if you end up with a Dogmatica core, you can throw a Dogmatica core into just about anything, and it's really small, so you only need a certain amount of cards. Oh, that's that. Yeah, that's cool. That's good to know. Huh? Like three I, Dogmatica Punishment, one Ecclesia, one Maximus, one Flirtily. Yeah, that's a Dogmatica core, and then like you add the Deer Servant on top of that. Hell yeah. Are the Ignista cards meta? Like, how good are they? Uh, they're like they're like a rogue tier. They can compete. Okay. Okay. Cool. So there. I've got a raid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The, I'll um. Let's say let's say farewell because we've been at it for a while. Thank yeah. you so much for joining me, Ian. Of course. Um, I'm really looking forward to the next session of this. Yeah. That'll coming be coming back to this in... deck and forgetting everything about it. That'll be in <laughs> two weeks, right? Uh, yeah, we'll do something in two weeks, I think, for sure. Hell yeah. All right, okay. Uh, take care. Bye now. Yeah, you too.
All right, everyone. Let me. How the fuck do you disconnect? Right there, you go. There we go. All right. Who? That was fun. That was a lot of fun. I hope you all guys. Blah blah. blah. I hope you always had fun too. Let's head over to the chatting screen. Because I'm ready to close things up. Thank you, Ellie. I'm glad you liked it. We're having fun. We're going to do this again. And then again and again and again and again and again. And again. Um, like we said at the beginning, hopefully at some point we'll turn this over into being physical cards. Uh, but that may be a ways away. It just sort of depends on how people respond to it, how people uh, come out for it, to support it. Um, so yeah, if you want to support this, uh, you know, let us know on Twitter how, what you thought of it. Um, let us, uh, you know, start giving us money. You know, <laughs> uh, don't don't if you if you can't afford to don't. But uh, obviously, I'll be fine. I promise. As usual, the usual things. But yeah, if you if you like this sort of thing, make sure to let us know and uh, uh, tell us to keep at it. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube later, uh, make sure to do that like and subscribe and all that nonsense uh, to show us that you like this stuff. Uh, obviously, we're going to keep doing this, but we're going to maybe put more money into it and such like that uh, as, as things go on. So, yeah, other than that, uh, let's find someone to raid. Um, oh look, car is streaming. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, we could sh we could raid Minra, or we could raid Strawberry Mouse. Oh, Ghosty just went live. Let's raid Ghosty. I haven't raided Ghosty. I don't think at all, actually. Ghosty just went live. Let's do that. Oops. No. Uh. Sorry, I pressed the wrong keyboard. All right. All right. Thank you all for coming out today. I hope you had a good time. Um, God, uh, I'm I'm thinking about maybe doing some Minecraft at some point, but don't hold me to it. I'm not sure about it yet. Um, but Sunday. Uh, should be the finale of the Pokemon Spooky Randomizer. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. That'll be fun. We'll, we'll finish that up and uh, yeah, I think I think anyways, it's it's still a lot to go, so maybe it won't happen. Um, but I might just keep going until it does happen. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, hope you're all. Have a, gonna have a nice day. Um, be kind to yourselves, be kind to others, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye bye.